Matthew here from MiniWarGaming.com, and I've got a special treat for you because we've got Winter's SEO from YouTube here to battle me with an iconic Space Marines versus Tyranids battle report, Tempest of War. Today I'll be playing a High Fleet Gorgon in this 1500 point Vanguard detachment, being led by a Tyranid Prime and then being accompanied by a Broodlord. So Gorgon, when they roll fours to wound, they always wound unless it's a vehicle or a Titanic, but it does give them access to a really good stratagem for those with Toxin Sacks, which I'm hopefully going to use in the game. Uh, I have two troop choices because this is a Vanguard detachment. There are two units of four Tyranid Warriors with Adrenal Glands, Flesh Hooks, Toxin Sacks, the whole nine yards. Onto all of my elites, we've got the Death Leaper. And then we've got his buddy Lictor. And we have two full squads of 10 gene stealers with everything, extended carapaces and toxin sacks. And then for fun, we've got the Toxicrine. He's a synapse creature today with the adaptive physiology. We're gonna see what those big gangly arms can do. And then I have a couple heavy support. I haven't tried out Biovores and Hiveguard yet, so here are three Biovores for you and three Hiveguard with their shock cannons. So that is my 1500 point Vanguard detachment. Hi, this is Winters with my custom Space Marine chapter known as the 13th. They're not in Ultramarines, Matthew. They're not Ultramarines. They're my custom... I'll try not to say that. <laughs> uh, there's story times and things like that all over my YouTube channel, which explains what's going on here. But the customs, what I do is I take different successor traits so I can use what I want to use at the time. And today, taking Bolter Fusillades or Bolter Discipline, I think it's called. The one where you get to re-roll hit rolls of one with Bolter Weaponry and then Master Artisans, so I can re-roll a hit as well. Basically, it's a first-born Space Marine army with lots of re-rolls because it's a first-born Space Marine army and I need every poke I can get. There are four units of five men tacticals and one of the sergeants has a combi melter because of points. Uh, leading the charge is a um, captain with a jump pack. I've given him the Teeth of Terror Relic with Imperium Sword and next to him is a Tech Marine to help repair the two vehicles that I have, which is a normal Dreadnought with LAS and Missile Launcher, and the Contemptor Dreadnought with the four LAS. That Contemptor Dreadnought is from the Imperial Armor book, the Imperial Armor, the book with the Imperium, the Forge World stuff. Basically cost me a CP to bring it. Two units of multi-motor attack bike and one unit of 10-man Terminators because Firstborn are cool. Gaming's Warhammer 40k Battle Report. For our Tempest of War mission today, we are going to be doing a spearhead assault, which puts us on opposite long table edges, but more on a triangle, staying nine inches from the center, of course. This is a take and hold primary mission, so you get five points for controlling one, five more points for controlling two, and five more points for controlling more than your opponent. So very standard mission. Our mission rule is Vox Static, which is my favorite one. It makes sure that any rerolls you do really cost you because they cost two command points instead of the usual one. And then we draw our secondaries as usual. Whoever has the most points is the winner. And we will be playing on this wonderful mat by Table War. And we got some of the Nachmund train. I don't know how I'm supposed to say it. Nachmund. 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 If you say it terribly, then people will assume that you're just doing it on purpose. <laughs> so we got that set up like a little installation. We're just going to count these as defense lines and ruins. And then we got all this wonderful aquarium terrain that uh, Greenleaf Terrain made for us, or painted for us a, a while ago for one of our narrative campaigns. It's a biomass rich environment. There's a reason why the High Fleet are here. Look at that. Or, it's, or it's that way because we, when the spores get seeded, it actually enhances all the vegetation to go kind of crazy. Yeah. And this Nachmund has gone dark. Look, Bravo 260 has gone dark. That's right. Where are they, where are they all gone? And so we got to push out. Don't forget, you can get lots of discounts, over 50 companies for Silver Vault members. Go to miniwargaming.com slash silver discount. And if you want to come in and be featured in a battle report, go to miniwargaming.com slash challenge for all the details. Let's get deployed. And we are deployed. I was able to do a bit of sneaky Vanguard deployment with Gene Stealers. These ones are just a little out of my deployment. Biovores and Hiveguard in the back, ready to go. My Lictor and Death Leaper are in reserves, as are your Terminators. And you got your guys in the back, ready mm. to fire all their bolters. This is nice and open round here. Uh, it turns out, actually, that a good spread of the objectives are favoring the, the Tyranids. Yes. So I've kind of spread out, because I know how quick you can be. These fellas, these, these are troubling. There's lots of line of sight blocking around here, and I'm worried about you sweeping around this flank. To be fair, I'm worried about all the psychic powers. To be fair, I'm worried about getting consumed by biomass. I'm quite worried right now, actually. <laughs> well, that's a nice thing. If I move forward and you just gun me down, as long as I can stay alive enough turns, 
I can rack up the points I that... I have 10 Terminators in reserve, though. That's true. Wargame and that. That's a lot of firepower right there. It is. It mm. is. But mm. not until turn two. Not until turn two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we're all deployed. I don't think there's anything else to do because I don't choose any of my stuff until I know who goes first. Nope. You ready to roll off? Yeah. Winner goes first. What do you yeah. want? Do you want to go first or second? I'm not sure. Well, then really it's great that sure. you don't get to choose. Yes. Right? I actually like that you don't choose anymore. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Think Winters is going first. Yep. Okay. All right. We got uh, Space Marines. Turn one. So before uh, Winters chooses or draws his cards, I have a couple choices. First off, I'm going to swap out my adaptive um, trait, which is when I shoot or fight, I can reroll one wound roll. Okay. Which is cool, but... Salamanders. Yeah, whatever. Who wants to be salamanders? I don't want to be salamanders. <laughs> uh, and instead, I'm going to take the one where I can heroically intervene. So I think it's called synaptic. No, it's called ambush predators. Right. So my whole army can heroically intervene as if they're characters. That's scary. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a Space Wolves now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Space Wolves better than Salamanders, right? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> and then I can turn on a Synaptic Imperative if I want to, and I want to. I'm gonna turn on the Brood Lords, which anybody in Synapse range will count as being in light cover. Okay, is everyone in Synapse range? Yes. Okay. Because it's just six inch, oh, except for these gene stealers. Okay. But they're in cover. But they're in light cover anyway, yeah. so yeah. So it's nice. gonna help, because we're gonna count a lot of this as dense, yes. so hopefully, Hopefully your key targets will be minus one to hit and then plus one to save. We'll see. Okay. As long as they're in... Oh, sorry. I, I should specify it's infantry. Infantry. Infantry only, which everybody is except for the Toxic Green. Okay. So we don't care for the Toxic Green. You can shoot him turn one. All right, what are your three objectives? Okay, so I had to spend a CP to change my orders because one of them was assassinate, assassinate. and it's unlikely that I can kill any characters down there. But raise a banner in No Man's Land. Boom, look at that. I'm right here. And I've also got extend battle lines, which means hold one in no man's land and, and buy own. one. So that's 10 points. And then blood and cuts, kill three things in the fight phase. That one's probably not going to happen this turn. <laughs> probably not. You're old school Marines, so you have no command phase stuff. Yes. So they'll move there and they'll raise a banner. And I've extended my battle lines. Look at that. Look at that. It's many points. Yay, tactics. Now I need to think about the other things. <laughs> that's the easy one. So what you going to do? So movement phase, I did remember a command action. A tech marine awakens the machine spirit on one of these. So I'll awaken this fella here so he can hit on twos instead of threes. Well, isn't that okay. fancy? He's like, Plus wake one up, hit. stop sleeping and things like that. And he wakes up and he goes that way and I can get some shots in. Over here, there could be Mr. Shots. Mr. Shots, shots on Mr. Wiggly Arms over here. If I count the arms and I'm not counting the arms because that's really gamey, I can't see him. So those shots will have to go downtown that way. Sorry, I got interrupted by a little timer there. And Shred not moves forward as well. Yes. He worried about these gene stealers. Well, these are going to die anyway, right? Because <laughs> there's gene stealers just there. So let's try and kill some of those gene stealers first. Before some they of die. the other ones. And I am going to spend two CP dropping me down to nine CP on steady advance on this unit. So they because... don't count as moving after moving. Exactly. So that so. way I can move them over here and then catch these gene stealers in a crossfire. Let's see if we can kill right. crossfire. What are you gene stealers called? <laughs> hey, Stop using their rules better than them. Them fighting, them's fighting words. Um, and then I'll move some stuff and things. Stuff and things? I'll move some stuff and things this way. You're going to stuff the things? Up here. Jump on those ruins. I don't know if I want to do that, but it gives plus to cover, right? Sure does. Here's my captain. So that's that. And Let's then attack the bikes. bikes, swoop this way, shoot Mr. Wiggly Arms. You're going to zip up. Well, you say zip up. <laughs> <laughs> All the multi melters. How close do I really want to be to Mr. Wiggly Arms? That's probably too close right there. But if it doesn't work, he's coming for you. I, yeah, I've got to give you. I, I don't want to shoot through the thing, so they have to be there. Right, that's my movement phase. Mini Wargaming Matthew. Everything's, everything is moved. All right. Now we shall shoot some guns. No psychic phase, obviously, so no. starting with shooting. Where do you want to start? I would like to start to kill some gene stealers, Mini Wargaming Matthew. I'm going to be shoot there. Before okay. they die? Before, yeah, before they get jumped on. So he's got a bunch of bolters. Mm. You're in rapid fire range. So I'm hitting on threes and I'm re-rolling ones with bolter discipline and I re a hit with master artisans. Well, look at you go. How cool is that? All but one. Sorry. Are these dice available from the mini wargaming store. Yeah, that's and right. That's Den of Imagination. That's Den right? of Imagination. Yeah. That's right. I've had those dice for a long time. They're good people. Fours to wound. Fours to wound. Oh, that's a good solid six wounds. Well, let's see if all the points were worth it. I paid for <laughs> extended carapace to give him a four-up save. It cost me one of their movement. Yeah. Um, and they're in light cover because of the synaptic imperative. So yeah. it's a three up save. I'm a like, space marine. Like a space marine. Oh. Oh, I like a space marine. I loved it. 
It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I rolled one three in there. The rest were fives. What's our next shooter? Next, shooting with a steady advance unit, I am going through the shrubbery, so it will be minus one to hit you. Ooh, you brought okay. a shrubbery, I see. <laughs> we, so you're hitting we, on fours? <laughs> we are the knights who say me. We <laughs> demand a shrubbery. Oh, look at that. I re-roll ones. You didn't roll any threes. What's uh, the point of the shrubbery if you don't roll that, any threes? Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> roll me a couple threes so I feel better. Fours to wound. Uh, three wounds that time. Maybe I can save these pro properly. Three up. Hey, one and three lost. So one more dice. Any little efficiency. That, mean, that means leadership is a thing, right? Right? Well, I'm in six inch of synapse, so nope. Who's gonna try next? They, there should be more dead. There isn't enough dead. Yeah, well. So I've got land scanners and missile launchers, and I was thinking about firing them at the big bugs, but now I'm thinking about firing them at gene stealers. Just to get rid of that forward uh, threat? They're so quick. <laughs> okay, look, the one that hits on twos, that has been awakened, I'm gonna fire it at. I'm gonna fire at the warriors. They're synapse, right? Yes. So let's kill some this last cannons. This is gonna do it. They're gonna close up their carapaces and make it minus one damage. I'm just with their three wounds, I'm hoping that you'll it'll be a little more inefficient. So hitting on. Twos. Do you get to reroll the one? I get to reroll a hit. A hit. A hit. A hit. At this point, he should have spent a wisdom of the ancients. <laughs> just reroll the ones. That's true. <laughs> well, you're gonna be twos to wound, because I am not Leviathan. Well, you're oh, no, no, I'm toughness five. 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 So, five. Threes. so it's three. It's three. It's three. Didn't matter. And they're AP minus four because of Devastate Doctrine. Okay, well, I've got light cover. So, nope. No, no saves. So one of them at a time is minus one. So roll me a three so I feel really good about spending that stratagem. Okay, so I, okay, I still I'll get about that. Let's command point that, shall we? Sure. Shall if, we command point that? You shall. So that becomes three and kills it's, one. Well, no, because it's minus one damage. Yeah, so it becomes three oh, yeah, and kills one. Oh, yeah, three wounds. That's yeah, they didn't update, update their wounds. Perfect use of a command point there. I killed two! Oh, you killed two. That was too efficient on your end. I'm counting the efficiencies, by the way. We're 1-1 one, one for efficiencies. Dreadnought into remaining warriors. Because if I shoot the genes, it's going to be minus one to hit because of shrubberies. So they have Shrubbery. to let's kill the warriors. Let's okay. kill the warriors. Last cannons, threes, and reroll a hit. That was a miss. They both hit. And then threes and to win. Threes to win. Oh yuck! No save. And no save at minus four. Devastator Doctrine is helping you out here. I need a four to kill one. Oh. Kill one. Okay. Well, okay. My, my command point did nothing. One's on one wound. Two wounds remaining, and here's the missile streaking across the battle grid, and it hits. And that one's on the three as well. And it doesn't work. Okay, good. I suppose we'll keep this venom cannon alive at the back. Yeah. I'm not sure the best. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, you paid for it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it sucks. It's, it's a neutered squad either way. So now we are on the bikes of the attack variety. The multi-melters and one of the twin bolt guns will fire at Mr. Wiggly Arms. But the bolters on this one can, are actually in range of the gene stealers. They so are or are not? They are, but not this one, but this one. So this one will fire at the gene stealers, just the bolters. Okay. Do the bolters and the gene stealers Here's first? Here's the bolters and the gene stealers, but you are, you're doing the cover thing. I reroll hit rolls of one. So those hit. You want to save your reroll for the Melta? I do. <laughs> Wound on fours and oh. did nothing. Here's the bolters into Mr. Wiggly Arms. Oh, you're doing that first. Huh? I need sixes. Hey, did a wound. Hey. Toxic screens are three up save. He does not benefit from the light cover. It's only infantry. Ah, it doesn't matter. Okay. We're good. So, but it's really the multi melters. Multi melters. Three is to hit him. Hey. And I can reroll a hit. My just one. Designs. Just one. Now, this is the tricky part. So, Strength eight. So toughness eight. Four is to wound. Yes. I'm nervous. Are you nervous? I, I'm, I'm definitely nervous. I'm definitely go. nervous. Do it again. Don't one shot, my guy. Okay. So it's two wounds, and that's definitely no save Anything against that. Minus five. It's five in Devastator. Yeah. So it's just 2d6. I've used a command point reroll yeah. already, haven't I? Yeah. So just roll double one and let's call it a day. Oh, eight. That's pretty good. That brings him down to seven out of 15 wounds, and that does put him into a bracket. Mm. Oh, we got right. more multi melters though. Yes, this is the last thing left to fire. Nothing else in line of sight and range to fire. So this shooting at Mr. Wiggly Arms. No. I haven't actually killed any whole units yet. Yeah. So I haven't got first blood. Do you remember first blood? I remember first day? blood. What a yeah. silly rule that was. <laughs> so just miss. Oh, they all hit. You, you, all, that's yeah, good, isn't I, it? I don't think you were These listening. You weren't listening. <laughs> mini wall gaming store. Highly recommend. <laughs> no longer being sold. Fours to wound. <laughs> Threes and twos. Oh, you still got two of them. That's two enough wins. to kill me. No save. Two d6. Okay. And so you got to get seven to kill me. <sighs> you did it. Okay, blashing out won't matter because it only affects enemies. So the Toxicrine is dead. Your shooting is all done. Yes. We go to morale, which I don't worry about because I'm within six inches of synapse. Yes. 
So your turn is over. Yes. You scored two of your secondaries. Yes. So the score is 10 nothing. 10 nothing. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Mm. All right. During my three objectives, spent a command point, threw one away because it was a capture enemy outpost. No, thank you. I got Granum down, so my turn and your turn, I have to kill more units than you kill with mine. Right. Not great. Uh, overwhelming firepower, kill three units with shooting. Have you got much shooting? I have enough to maybe do that in two turns. Okay. And raise banner just like you did. Right. Which is doing action. I can do that one because my prime with his adrenal glands can get to the middle one and raise the banner on that one. So at least I can get that one done. I'm only on two primaries for the command thing for my yes. thing as well. So, so I'm going to have to kind of bank on that yeah. working out for me and start to kill you to lower your firepower for yes. killing me back. Although you still have 10 Terminators. I think you should definitely start to kill me. Yeah. Like if you don't kill me, that'd be a problem. That's, that's the problem. Yes. Yeah, like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Got a couple command phase things to do. A few, actually. Three of them in total. Broodlord gives a core unit sixes to wound in close combat or an extra AP. The Prime uh, has a Warlord trait, trait to hand out plus one to hit, and then he has his built-in to give out a reroll ones to wound. Mm. So he's going to hand out both of those to this Tyranid Warrior squad. So they're going to be plus one to hit. I'm coming around to have a look. It's very and, scary from this side. And they are reroll ones to wound. Ooh. And then the Broodlord will hand out the sixes in close combat, do an extra AP. And we'll hand that out to these geniuses right here because these ones are not in synaptic link range. My movement phase, I've got flesh hooks on these guys so they can go up and down without spending any extra movement, which is nice. They're Batman gene stealers. I'm Batman. We're going to make sure they both all get across the defense. Where's line, Rachel? Because <laughs> I don't think that it works when they charge. Have you seen the new Batman, Matt? Not yet. Yeah, it's good. It's I, hear, I hear good things. It's a detective story with Batman in it. It's great. Yeah, yeah. I look forward to seeing it. Just yeah. haven't seen it yet. These gene slayers are just going to move forward a little slower than usual because their backs are heavy with their extended carapace eye. That sounded weird. <laughs> we're going to get hyper aggressive here. The Broodlord's going to move up his full eight. We're, we're looking to go in. Oh, Here we go. This one warrior is just going to reposition. Mm -hmm. And then these hive guard are going to come out of hiding. They are, these are assault weapons. So we can move up. I want to keep them in synaptic link range and synapse range too. The prime, as I said before, is just going to move up and start to raise the banners. So he'll be there. But we got to re get ready for a lookout, sir. Oh, this is the tough part because... Oh, wait, no, he can, he can go to that one. Yeah, he's going to raise the banners on the other one. Okay. Because I want to keep lookout, sir, on him. So these are going to move first. Yeah, these warriors are going to come out into the open and probably die next turn. Ah, I'm trying something different. Not too worried. And the prime easily gets to there. Keep our synaptic link going on. So he's 12 inches of that one, too, so we can keep bouncing stuff around. And ready to do some damage. In my psychic phase, the Broodlord is going to manifest the, hopefully manifest the Catalyst psychic power. I think I need a seven for this. I think it's a six. It might be a six. I rolled a nine, so I got it. Do you have any way to deny? Negative. Okay, so this is the hard choice. Where do I put it? Like, part of me wants to put on these gene sealers, but they're reduced strength, so you're not going to get quite as much use out of it. You know what? I'm putting on these warriors. Yeah. Because then if I minus one damage them, your yeah. last cannons and multi-melters, although your multi-melters are going to get in melter range, and that's yeah. really not going to matter. Do I want to be that close to them? Well, once you, swords? You, you do when you kill them. They're scary, Matthew. Yeah, but four multi-melters will just wipe them out. You reckon? We'll see. And that will be it for my psychic phase. I'm not going to go for the power of the hive mind strategy to do an extra Come one. On. Can I tempt you with a cheeky smite? Nope, on. because then right. you'll kill the model that's closest and make my charge harder. That's why I'm trying to tempt you. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Let's go to the charge phase. Let's start with the feel-good one. Gene Zealer's right here, gonna charge right here. Did you Don't wanna overwatch? Do you, what, do you mean the shooting phase? Yeah! I should <laughs> shoot. Why did my brain just do that? It's because it's 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 it, it I played out all the shooting in my head. I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna do this, this, and this, and then yeah. I was done. I know. Okay, yeah, let's shoot. Shooting's good, <laughs> shooting's good. Yeah, well, Triple Hive Guard are gonna fire at the Not Contemptor Dreadnought. You gotta keep that on camera, by the way. I am, I'm not editing That's that out. Beautiful. Oh yeah. <laughs> We've got six shots with their shock cannons. They are hitting on threes. They're assault weapons, so I could move and still fire without any penalty. And that's a good solid hit. And then we're looking for a strength seven, so it's fours to wound. Now they have a rule though built into the shock cannons that if it's a vehicle, they always win on fours. Right. But more importantly, they also do mortal wounds on four pluses. Okay. In addition. Okay. So looking for fours. Oh. Eh, it's okay. So it's three mortal wounds no matter what. Mm -hmm. But they're normally minus two AP, so your armor contempt make it minus one, so you get four up saves. Fours. No, so that's normally three damage, but you're a Dreadnought, and minus one damage is two. Right. So you take five damage in total. Okay. You don't, we're going to see if we can plink off some more wounds with the Venom Cannon from this warrior in particular. Same target. D3 shots. So two shots. Can't complain about that. Looking for threes to hit. 
two hits. These will be threes to wound. Oh. Oh. Oh, I wish I kept the Gorgon reroll one wound roll. Oh, wait. No, he doesn't reroll ones. That's the other one. Okay. All right. That was fun. Warriors over here, which are plus one to hit and reroll ones to wound, are going to fire everything into the squad of bikes. Got one Venom Cannon. D3 shots. This thing could actually do some work. Oh. And so it gets one shot. <laughs> I'm not rerolling that because then you'll just save it. It won't matter. <laughs> Twos to hit. All right. And then we're looking at threes to wound, rerolling ones. Yeah. It is a four. So it's normally minus three, so yeah. it becomes minus two. So you've got a five up save. Oh, armor of contempt! Oh, monster! We got three death spitters. We might be able to do a bit of work with these, although there's not going to be any AP to them. Two's to hit, no rerolls. Only got one one in there, so that's okay. These are strength five. Or, or assault? Five. Are you toughness five? Okay, so yeah. four is to wound rerolling ones. Yeah. Oh, golly. Just three. Just three. Well, we got four. They're normally minus. One? Two. They're minus, minus two. two. Yes, so yes, minus yes. one's a four up saves. Fours. Uh, oh, you made all. Oh, no. Back foul. This is going bad. Back foul. No. So bad. I'm going to kill something at least because I'm going to try. But not in the shooting phase, it would seem. No, no, no. I'm not done. What? Three biovores are going to fire at that dreadnought who's but got three wounds left? No one brings biovores. They, they can't be any good. Well, they're not, but yeah. we can still have some fun with them. They're, I think they're good for picking things off. Okay. Because right. they're D3 shots each. They're going to hit on fours, and when they hit, they just do a mortal wound. Do they? Yeah. Okay, so they are really good. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> eh, they hit on fours. That's the only problem. Oh. If it was threes, I'd say, yeah, sure. So we're going to get uh, five shots. <laughs> I need three four pluses, and I got nothing to help me except a command point reroll. If they re hit, they auto wound. Uh, well, no, they, if they hit, there's mortal wound. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The Gorgon thing is not helping oh. me here because, yeah, mm. your vehicles. Oh no! Even if I reroll, I only do two. Thank you, Matthew. Oh you, no! Sir. This is all so bad. As Thank I was you. saying, charge phase. That's why I wanted to. Well, no, one minute. Don't the more, do, is there spore mines? Because you no, miss? they they change that. Oh. So you either shoot right. and do mortal wounds or you do an action and drop spore mines. Oh. So I could have dropped 3d3 spore mines within four feet more than six inches away from me. Right. Which is cool. That is cool. That is cool. You like can block off movement and things. Well, like for example, one thing I was thinking of doing is instead of bringing this as a unit of three, I was gonna bring three units of one, and okay. that way I could seed, seed, and seed. Although I'm not sure if it says one or more <laughs> units with this action. See any number of hive guard units from your army, so they, they could all do it. Okay. And that way I'm not forced to put them all in the same spot. So I right. could like block a lane, block a lane, block a lane. Um, so that's something at least, right? But instead, just one mortal wound. Yep. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> well, yep. you know, it's going to be better. Yep. That's yep. A, they'll warm up to I'm it. I'm just charging, man. Are you okay. going to overwatch? Um, uh, no. Okay. Then I will make my charge. I think they're dead. Hopefully. Coming in. We're now. coming in. We're coming all the way over here. We're going to use every inch of movement we can get. And then if I can make those charges in the middle, mm. then this isn't a, a total... <laughs> You, you know. The funny thing is, you don't even have to bring your Terminators, and I think I'm in trouble. We're good, though. We're good. Here we come. Gene Slew is right there. We'll declare a charge into your Marines. I watch. You will overwatch. Okay. Oh, yeah. so ready? Sixes to hit. Sixes. Reroll ones uh, and one hit. Yes. Or one failed hit, yes. right? Yes. So none so far. One, please. Please, Emperor. No. No. That's You've fun. had your fun. Sorry for wasting everyone's time. I need a seven inch charge. Piece of cake, right? Good luck. Mm, yes. All right, all right, we're, we're, we're getting there. Yeah, the yeah. real plan is hatching. Mm. We're, we're gonna come and eat them. If the Broodlord makes this charge, then I think I'm, I'm not totally gonna get my butt kicked. <laughs> Declaring a charge. He needs a seven inch charge as well. I still have a reroll. Good, I don't need to use it. Save those command points. And boom. Oh, did I fail to mention I have three Screamer Carnifex, three, three Screamer Killers in the sky? They're going to yeah, come I deep think strike you, uh, next yeah, turn. Yeah, you, you mentioned that. Yeah, I forgot that part screamer of my... Screamer Killers can definitely deep strike. I've heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they can in your monger. On to the fight phase. I'm going to start with the smaller squad of Gene Stealers. So we're going to pile into here. Why, Matt? Why? We're going to eventually try to gum up your dreadnoughts. Yeah. So dealing with these little griblies rather than more important stuff. So making sure... Yeah, they won't be able to engage him unless they actually kill him, which they might. Yeah, there's six of them. Yeah. I'm going to use the Gorgon specific stratagem, which is I can use it on a Toxin Sac unit. It's Toxin Sac's unit, and I gave that to these Gene Sealers. So normally Toxin Sac's if they roll six to hit, and uh, it just auto wounds. But with the Gorgon one, it becomes a five. Oh. So we're going to roll threes to hit, fives auto wound. That's the drop die. I'll pick that one back up. Oh. Oh. That wasn't that great. That's a lot of ones. So these auto wound okay. at their normal AP minus three. 
Now the ones that are rolling to wound are benefiting from the Broodlord synaptic thing that he gave them, which is sixes to wound an extra AP. So we're looking for fours to wound. No sixes. No sixes. So it's always the way. So eleven wounds. See, we're not killing that squad even with the Gorgon thing. Right. So armor contempt makes this a five up save. I think I rolled hot. One's dead, two's dead, three's dead, four. four's dead. I oh, contempt dead. keeps you alive again. Oh my goodness. So, so four of them die. Yeah, the sergeant's here though. So, all right. He's um, he's not going because he's got the extra time. Put him back. Okay. Well, but then you I can will, pile in and I'm do I'm going to consolidate and I'm going to try to come up here and try I think I may have put them too far forward. Yeah, maybe. Well, this gene stealer can go towards the Dreadnought. Either way, I can get near to your guy while still going to the Dreadnought. Mistakes were made, man. Did you want to interrupt for two command points? I'm assuming yeah. would be over here. I can't imagine why he'd want to. You know, I don't have much to spend my CP on, so, so let's why not? interrupt here. Okay. Yeah. Get your 11 attacks back. Yes. Getting on threes. I can reroll ahead. Okay. Okay, and? Strength four, toughness four? You betcha, force to wound. Uh, three. <laughs> I've got a four up invulnerable save in close combat, which of course bets. I killed two. You did. That's one per command point. That's not bad. Would, would you like to spend five more command points and have me remove five more? You can't. Uh, well, now I will eat your guys. Are you ready? I'm hoping that one hero sergeant stands again. We'll see, we'll see. There's eight of my guys. I almost don't mind if one of your guys survives because... Why? Because then I, then you can't shoot me. Unless you fall back that way. I, I, no, not fall. Tactically reposition. We mm -hmm. don't fall back. We... Naturally. Yeah. What was I saying? 32 attacks in the remaining eight. So you killed eight of the attacks. These are hitting on threes. Sixes because they have toxin sacks. Auto wound. Only three sixes out of all of that. Chancing Matthews. Yeah, a lot of ones and twos. Yeah. Fours to wounds, sixes don't do anything special here. Okay. Oh, golly, that Ooh. doesn't look great. You're going to survive this even if you biffed all your, you. your saves. Hero Sergeant. Five up saves. I'm not going to fail every single save. Why would you say that off I, camera? If you fail every single I'm save, I, kill, I wipe the squad. The, the pressure is intense here. Oh. One guy survives. Yeah, Gene Slithers, man, I'm just not seeing it. Hero Sergeant. The five I'm tactical right. Marines hold up against them. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of laughable, right? Yeah. I know there's morale. I know there's morale. And I will consolidate onto this guy. Yeah, see, I can't even overrun. They should have wiped them out. Yeah, because yeah. if I kill them, I could overrun and move, yeah. do a normal move and get up to here. Let's be fair, though. It's Armor of Contempt that's kept me alive here and here. Yeah. It's not what they... That, mm, yes. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah, both times. That was t double five right there. Yeah. My brood lord will pile into here. I see what you're doing there. And we're going to eat that little guy. All right, we've got six attacks hitting on twos. All right, we didn't flub that. That's pretty good. Looking for threes to wound, but really I just want a single six because it becomes AP minus five, Ooh. and even your armor of contempt does not stop that. <laughs> uh, no sixes, but I do get to re-roll. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Give me a six. No. We got five wounds. Five wounds. At minus three. You fail any of these, and you're done. So you got to roll five is, five up is saves. It, is it two damage each? Yes, they are. Okay, thank you. But you'd only killed three of them. Mm. That's that's not a that's not a great show. Yeah, yeah. You're rolling lots of fives for your armor contempt. Do you want to? Oh, you betcha. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're coming right here. Look at that. He's brave. That's beautiful. He's gonna gum up your lines. Matthew, I definitely put the dreadnoughts too far forward. <laughs> uh, you're fine. Just shoot him with last cannons until he goes away. Yeah, but that means go to I'm sleep, not go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. That's the idea. <laughs> I think you figured out my plan. <laughs> <laughs> Morale and leadership nine on these, so losing two is not a big deal. You lost four of your buddies. What's yeah. your leadership? It's a leadership eight. It's a hero sergeant. He okay. will not fail. He, he doesn't failed. fail. Told you, he's fine. Oh, four he... plus. Oh, you're right. I'm yeah. thinking backwards. Good. Yeah. I'm like, you need to roll four or higher. I think but... that's the end of everything. Yeah, because you lost the other squad. So mm. grind him down. I killed one thing. One thing. So yay. So I need to kill one thing to stop you getting the extra points for grinding them down. Well, as long as I don't also, like, if you leave him in combat, I finish him off. I'm definitely not leaving him in combat. <laughs> okay. But yes, you're correct. He's a hero sergeant, but he's not that much of a hero. <laughs> I did raise the banners. Yes. Now, mind you, I didn't end up getting this objective in the middle, so that's Ooh. kind of a big deal for my next turn. You're only on two. I'm only on two. That doesn't get you any more points, but no. it also guarantees that I won't get any more points yes. either on my next turn. So I've got five victory points for raising the banner. Uh, so the score is 10 to 5 at the end of battle round 1. So before you draw your cards, I'll do my synaptic imperative. Oh, okay. I'll use one of the warriors to pop theirs, which is anybody in synapse range. So six inches of synapse creatures. When they roll six to hit in close combat, they will do two hits. What'd you draw? 
So, yes, so um, I ditched Blood and Guts from last time, okay? And I also got Hold the Line this time, so I ditched that one. I yeah, spent the CP to get rid of that because you're stuff. all over my stuff, so I'm not going to be in that. So, actually, I've got Grind Them Down, same as yours. So I've got to kill more than you killed of mine, so Grind Them Down, kill stuff. Xenos, foul Xenos, that's good. Um, overwhelming Firepower, kill three units with guns. I get a point, five points. That's good as well. I've got lots of guns. Secure No Man's Land. Hold two objectives in No Man's Land. That one, and then one of these two. You left that open. I did leave it you open. You could drive open. your bikes up on. Mistakes it. were made here, but yeah. I think you made a mistake there. So yeah. I could get that one as well. So I'm quite happy with them. Also in the command phase, I can make this Dreadnought hit better because I'm in close combat now. And they're so heavy weapons, that's yeah, minus one. Yeah, so back to... And I can heal, he's down to two wounds, and I can put D3 wounds back on him at the end of the movement phase. We'll do it now, because it's now, on yeah. camera, because it's right here, and that's two another more. two, so it's back to four. Okay. In the movement phase, we will start here with this Dreadnought. I am actually going to fall out of combat, which means oh. it isn't shooting. Okay, interesting. But only your Broodlord is engaging this. Yes, right? the Jinsos are now... See, there's lots of guns, you see. Yeah, I, I see them. I can do the thing with the guns. I see them. So that's like tactics. He's not, he's not coward, it's, it's, it's tactics. tactics. Yes. Yeah. Get these ones, my brothers. Okay, these got nice long movement, 14, so we can go all the way up there, secure no man's land without advancing, and shoot back at the gene stealers. That's good. That's I mean, pretty healthy. That, yeah. yeah. He's tactically repositioning as well. You know, hello, on the other side. Actually, I'll move him this way. Let's as he runs away, no. The hive mind tactically, sorry, tactically retreats. A no. uh, hive mind <laughs> reaches out and tells him to cut him down. So I'm actually going to use a stratagem that I think this is my first time ever using I don't a stratagem. Think I've ever used it. Yeah, but yeah. I'm desperate to kill him. Yeah. So basically, it's a core rulebook stratagem for every model in engagement range. So there's seven of them. Mm. I roll a die, and on a six, you take a mortal wound. Mm. So it's a bit of a it's a bit of a gamble here. Well, you've got to grind them down. You want to kill lots of stuff. Right? If, yeah, and you've got to grind them down too. So if I kill him. Mm. It'll work against you and for you and for me. Mm. So it's a double whammy. It gives me or two reasons. I haven't been rolling lots of sixes with these dice, so they owe me. Two sixes, please. Zero sixes, thank you. What are you going to do with this dreadnought? Oh yeah, another thing I've, I keep, I forgot to do it last time. Wisdom of the Ancients on him. I'm going to re-roll wound rolls of one for core units within range of him. Which will be these two squads. Which, and that, and then, because I've already got the hit pluses to hit, so I've done that. Um, I'm thinking... Oh, I actually forgot something with my Broodlord. What? Um, oh, I he just... had an extra attack. Go for it. And whenever he... No, no, it doesn't matter. Because he killed the unit. Right. And whenever he kills a unit, he gains an extra attack for the rest of the game. Do you so know he's what? actually up to eight attacks now before okay. he dies. He's got I, want to I want to tell you that That's before good. you kill him. Well, <laughs> while you're talking about your Broodlord, do you know what I just remembered? What do you remember? We didn't fight back. Oh, yeah. My dreads. Yeah, punch me. So it had four. So at the end of last turn, <laughs> you don't get the extra attacks for Shock Assault when you pile in, though. So we'll do it all together. Okay. okay. So it will be threes to hit you, and it's actually, no, one will be hitting on plus. Yes, Awakened. That's right. His machine spirit is awakened. So threes, re roll one of them. Um, or is it only shooting? Yeah, that man. <laughs> there we go. And then these ones. Okay, oh. so seven hits. They are strength higher than it's toughness five. Yeah, five. So threes, so to, threes wound. to wound. So I have wounded the Broodlord. Yuck. Four up and vulnerable save. No, oh, hey, only failed one. Okay, we caught it. That brings another six wounds. Hmm. Ouch. Hmm. Yeah, bikes over here. I don't want to go close. They're nasty. They've got big swords. So we're coming around. Tactical reposition. Tactically reposition. Yeah, that'll do. They're there. These fellas, though, I'm not too bothered about. I can shoot through the bush to your fellas. Okay, we can do that. Can I see? I can see them. Oh, yeah. So I'll still be on that objective, and I will shoot that way. Now, this is, this is the problem, though, right? Because I can, I've got shots that can go into them, okay? And let's say I kill all of this, then the gene stealers with their, what's it, the flesh hooks that can move yep. through everything, come around and just tag my dreadnoughts again. That's the idea. Yeah. So I need to do something with them, but I've only got this to do with that. And if I drop my terminators in here, then my terminators are right in the corner. Well, they'll kill they all of them. But then they won't influence the rest of the game, Matt. Well, turn three, it's you can use your teleport homers to leave, and then turn four, you could come back. I forgot about my teleport homers. Yes, they do have a teleport homer. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks. Uh, so I need to think. Captain Morses, he'll jump down there. Because if my last cannons do not kill, he'll go in and kill the Broodlord, right? Yes. So that's the plan. These fellas, I think I have to shoot them. I have to shoot them. So let's line them up. But they can also move down. Not like that, though. <laughs> Just fall. <laughs> so they are jumping down. 
Yes, then I wasn't going to deep strike my... T I mean, I've got 10 Terminators. I'm not sure I can get them all in and shoot them, but that is a genius idea about putting them they in. They don't have the light cover thing anymore, so they'll only get light cover if for the ones that are Right, let's drop the Terminators here. Oh, we're counting these ruins, so they don't even get light cover from them. Mm. So, so yeah, here, obstacles. and then the thing, and then teleport Homer away next turn. That's a good plan. But the thing that about the teleport Homer is, it's a reinforcement step thing. So in turn three, I'll turn. do it. You lose a whole turn, and I've lost turn one, and I lose another turn. That means they'll only be combat effective for three turns. I'm so conflicted. And the Terminators deep strike over here. Yeah. With all their storm bolters ready yeah. to go. Well, I think they probably, they just sort of wandered in. They were deep. <laughs> like, what's going on over here, guys? <laughs> yeah. They oh, were, cheese dealers. They were having tea and biscuits somewhere back in the installation. Shooting phase. Well, after the movement phase, got to reset my brain. So the, the first company here, they shoot them, right? And then some shooting over here. Maybe I'll get overwhelming firepower if I kill three things. And I'm securing no man's land on these two objectives here. So I think I'm ready, Matthew. I think oh. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. Okay, let's I'm shoot ready. some guns. First ginormous volley of storm bolters and the gene stealers with plus one to hit from your fury of the fury of the first. Fury, fury we're the, the first, first company, and we're very furious. <laughs> so twos. Oh, look at that one. The interesting thing is this bolters. So I re roll ones. ones with my you bolters. know what? You can just pick them all up and pretend they're hits. It's can pretty I? much as good as. Well, let's see if I get a one. Two ones. Two ones. Oh, I'm wrong. Maybe Th I will survive. Thirty-eight hits. <laughs> You're in tactical doctor um, now, so I'll only get a five up save yeah. against this. Force to wound. Force to wound. AP minus one. Yep. Here's some of them. Five up saves. Uh, they're dead. You got them. That was a good roll, but they're dead. Oh wait, there's only eight of them, so <laughs> they were they were really dead. <laughs> well, I think I overdid it. Okay, now I don't get grind them down. Next. Moving down the line to these fellows shooting these gene stealers. I'm re-rolling hit rolls of one because of bolters. And remember, this one's got the wisdom of the ancients. So re -roll I'm re-rolling wound. wound rolls of one as well. And re-roll one failed hit. Yes. So I Can't forget I'll, that. I'll take one of those. There we go. Forest to wound re-rolling. Drop plus and count. Re-roll ones. There's so a one. Four, four of them. Thankfully, I got some cover in the way there. So you are at minus one, though. So four up saves. Oh. 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 <laughs> Not much I can do about that. Not that you were done. Grenade. Might sure. well chuck a grenade. And I can reroll the hit. Oh, it's a crack grenade. Okay. Crack grenade. And three. So that's wings. Wood. Five up in Vuln. Nope. Tech Marine. Tech Marine. Oh, sure. pistol. Hits. Wounds. You know what? I'm just going to borrow this. Okay. And oh, yeah, saved. Okay. What else you got? I want this one dead. Yeah, yes. So I'm going to shite. The shite? Shoot the <laughs> all the bolters from the attack bikes into this. And then the multi melters Let's kill this one here. I can't have one Venom Cannon running around all over the place. It might be overkill, but you are Synapse. So here's the multi melters into the... Oh. Reroll re one, one of them. Hits. Yep. So they all hit. I wound you on threes. Yep. And that's... Ooh. Oh, okay. I could survive that if you don't roll... No, never mind. You're within 12. It's oh, yeah. minimum three damage. He's, He's gone. Blah. So I thought it was overkill. It turned out to be perfect. That was exactly yeah. what you needed. If I kill this one last gene stealer here, this will be overwhelming firepower. So Zero these ones as their bolters. Yeah, I think you're going to do it. I think I might do That's it. That's an inkling of mine. Uh, years and years of experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, five up in bones. Somehow you got it. I don't know. I don't know how. Firepower. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Last cannons to the face, and yes. you're plus one minus one. Plus one minus one. I so got nothing to help me with this, right? To hit. There's a captain there. Okay, so, okay. I'm re-rolling hit rolls of one. Oh, golly. I don't need it. Threes to wound, re-rolling ones, because the yes. wisdom of the ancients. Yes. Give me some twos. There's no, one. there's no twos. No, there's a Ooh. two. So two wounds. Ooh, you could survive. Well, four up in Vuln. I got six wounds left, so as long as I make one of these, I'm most likely alive. You got this. All right. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not command pointing. No. If I had failed both, I'd command point. Don't well, roll six. Just there's a one in six chance. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna are those the odds? <laughs> Four. Okay. Are you going to reroll it? Mm, no. Okay. He's down to two wounds. See, I'm not going to reroll because my captain's there with the I know, he's, terror. he's two damage. Charge. He jumps in, smashes in dead. But if he dies in close dead combat, in. he can still fight. Because uh, I can, can spend he? two command points Scary. and have a character fight. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah so I'm, okay. I'm okay with him dying in close combat. Okay. So here, let's shoot all of these into the warriors there. Okay. Okay. Here's the multi melters. I can reroll a hit. That's good. And then wounding on threes. Oh, sorry, I'm doing the minus one damage strategy. Wounding on threes. Oh, I'm not doing the minus one damage strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I did though, I actually told you that beforehand. I was 
Stephen to come in. <laughs> like what a waste. Bolters. It's like your dice heard me like, oh yeah? Yeah, okay. You want to spend that CP? Yeah, so. The dice gold hurts. We're not going to do anything. I, should, I guess I should be happy about that. Um, and yet part of me feels like I'm, <laughs> I'm ripped off. I know. Oh, there's only one wound at minus yeah. one. So five up save. And I made it with a six. Okay. We're going to climb around all the way over here so we can see the last few desperate bolter shots. I think it's just it. Did you make that save, did you? I did. So you said that they'd get wiped out, but they're not going to get wiped out. Well, they're going to be okay. Well, you know, normally three, four multi melter shots would do it. Normally. So two wounds two from the wounds. bolters. Minus five up save against those. One gets through. And they have a feel no pain on them. Five up. And that still gets through. Okay, okay. okay. Not all hope is lost. My broodlord can retaliate when he dies. You did get overwhelming firepower, though. Yes. And stopped you getting grind them down. Oh, wait. No, you didn't what? get overwhelming firepower. You right. only killed two things with shooting. I killed... Gene Steelers, Gene Steelers. Oh, and the one warrior. And the one warrior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, you yeah. got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Charge o'clock. Captain Morsus. Heroic stuff. I there think we go. He, I in. think you can we're just walk in. Yeah, yeah, Any in. other charges Actually, you wanted to do? Um, yeah, no. Mm, yeah. Mm. No, that's no? fine. Don't tempt me, foul demon. Okay, and come and fight me. <laughs> okay, he's got four attacks. Okay. Shock assault. All right. Imperium sword. Got it. Teeth terror. <laughs> <laughs> you sure there's not more? <laughs> no. Uh, what are you hitting on? Uh, twos. He's a captain, and I can reroll a hit. Look. Oh, isn't, isn't that special? It? Isn't yeah, that special? Yeah. What's uh, his strength? Strength stuff? six with the Imperium sword. So threes to wound. And no rerolls. But it is minus two, two damage. Two damage each. So yes. any of these four up invulns fail. Yes. And you kill him. Die, demon. I, I, are you there? I want lots of them or none of them. Because, <laughs> no, the reason I don't want just, I don't want like just to fail one. Because then I'll be tempted to spend one of my last two command points. Don't want to do that. To keep him alive. Mm. And then I'll fail that. And then I won't have the command points to get him to fight when he dies. Mm. See, like there, I have no choices. Yeah. He's just flat dead. So I will spend two command points to have him fight when he dies. Because it has two damage attacks and he is it's one damage. Red not, yeah. Sorry, minus one damage. Yeah. I'm not even gonna bother trying to scratch him up. I do have eight attacks now. Six base, plus one for the relic, plus one for having killed a unit. The relic gives me that. So I'm just gonna try to destroy your captain, maybe? Okay. okay. So I'm hitting him on twos, unless there's mm -hmm. minuses to hit him? No? No, 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 minuses okay. to hit him, no. Uh, what's his toughness? His toughness for his captain, yeah. So does he have an invuln? Yeah, four five up, up or four? Iron Halo. Okay, so it's just gonna be four up invulns, so it doesn't matter if I roll sixes. Yep. So threes to wound, re-rolling. And how many wounds does he have? 78. <laughs> so what, like five? Five wounds. So fail, so fail three of these four up invulns. These two damage. These two damage, so fail three of them, please. Please. No, well, please, go, please, Winters. I like a Captain like Morsis, he's a hero and things like that. And, uh, oh, good. You can't even command point reroll and keep oh, him alive. No. Oh, good. See you later. Woo! Mutually assured disruption. Yeah. At least I got something. That's the end of your turn. No morale checks to make on either side. Mm. And uh, you completed overwhelming firepower. And secure no man's land. And I'm secure. up to 20 points on the secondaries. Yeah. Exciting. And I do not get grind, or, yeah, grind them down. No. Because I killed four things. Yeah, yeah, you killed so you more than me. You have to kill four things to stop me. Getting yeah, so down. I'll still. I, that, I think Grind Him Down goes away. Let me double check it. Have yeah, so this. Thankfully, Grind Him Down gets discarded if I fail to do it. It does mm. say, otherwise, you must discard the secondary mission. Mm. So I can't just keep holding on to it. No, you can discard as many secondaries as you want at the end. I know, of the but at the end of my turn, I could. Ah, yes. Otherwise, it holds on and it yes, gums yes, up one of my yes. one of my spots. So the score is twenty. No, because you got ten primary. Well, so thirty to five. Yeah. For the space marines. I'm on three of the primary. You are. As well. you are. You're on two. Yeah. Not for long. Not for um, long. Who'd have thought it? This uh, this first one list is doing really well, and your experimental tyrannid list. I That's think, so good. I think you found a bad tyrannid list. I did. Wow. I did. I feel pretty proud of myself. It took me a bunch of games, but I think <laughs> I figured it out. Drew my three cards, I'm pretty happy with them. I got Extend Battle Lines, which means hold my objective and one in No Man's. I already have that, so that's good. Okay. I got Blood and Gut, so kill three things in close combat. That's good. Yeah, yeah we'll see. I don't really have anything to fight in close <laughs> combat with. And I got Deploy Teleport Homer. Actions in my deployment zone, is that the one? Yes. Okay. And uh, it's an infantry or objective secured, so my Lictor and my Death Leaper could both perform that action. Tierna Prime is going to hand out plus one to hit and reroll ones to wound to these warriors, and maybe they'll do something. Well, I desperately need to reduce your firepower, so we're gonna bring up warriors to here, and then we're gonna bring the prime up behind them. And they will come up to here. Okay. I'm gonna walk forward. They won't get to that objective, unfortunately. Well, they can charge, right? Maybe, no? Maybe, they might actually. 
we'll fire, we'll charge there, and then we'll try to kill them because they're not objective secured. No. I can make Hive Guard count as more models <laughs> as an action if they don't move. I don't understand that one. But, <laughs> all right, and the Biovores will sit tight because they don't want to hit on fives instead of fours. And then sneaking out of the bushes in the back corner, we have our Lictor and our Death Labor. The Lictor will start to perform the action, urinate in the back lines. Yes. That's deploy teleport homer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In layman's train. terms, in yeah. layman's terms, it's deploy teleport homer. But really, the, the pheromone, the musk of the lifter is so strong. You think you're winning this game, it's really a trick. <laughs> the Tyrannocytes are coming down. I just wondered, what's he doing in my bush? Anyway, he shouldn't come out of my bush. Yeah, he's coming. <laughs> uh, no psychic phase, because my broodlord's dead, so go to straight to shooting. We've got my hive guard here with their shock cannons. They're still going to try to finish off that dreadnought, just so we can be like, yeah. Look yeah. at us, we're awesome. All we have to do is hit. We're no. totally, totally worth all of our points. You got this. So, six shots hitting on threes. That's two, <laughs> that's two mortal wounds. No, no, it's the fours to wound it's you the mortal fours wounds. To wound. Yeah. Oh. I need the hits, man. I need the hits. Ah, it's, oh my goodness. Well, I can. T yeah, I can't kill him, no. A mortal wound. A mortal wound, so he's down to three wounds. Yes. And you get a... Five up save. Five up save against that. Contempt. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it would have been three damage down to two, and he still would have survived it. <laughs> well, we're still determined to kill him. Uh, so the biovores are going to rain down the spore mines on him. These are just hit and wound, right? These are the ones. Yeah, yeah. This will do it. Yeah, yeah. You got yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. D3 shots each. Ooh. Okay, we got our six. Okay. We got our average. Yeah. You got three wounds left? Three, just On three. average, he dies. No! <laughs> You're one short. I want that command point for the freaking... You have I, to. I, no, I, I want it for the reroll to charge. No, no! Right, don't make me do it. Yay! Oh, we got him at least. I hate rerolls. Oh, wait, no. Doesn't I couldn't go? do that. He blows up. No, I couldn't do it. What do you mean you can't do it? We've been doing rerolls only for one command point. They cost two command points. <gasps> I don't think you've done any reroll command points, Regis. I Regents. don't think I... I think you did damage once and kill the warrior. Shall we pretend that we ignore... Shall we ignore that for going forward? Because I might have and you might You just have. did it. You've done it once for sure for damage. And I think that's the only time we've used the reroll. Right. So I didn't blow up is what you're saying. And yeah. do you only have one CP? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, because I can't even be like, well, I guess it cost me two. Right, I'm taking another CP off of me, darling. Okay, well, that works then. See, okay. that, that, that looks good. So you have one you have one. Have one Isn't that nice? Look, this uh, I guess we'll fire the everything at the stupid dreadnought. You can charge these and kill I these. I will and try. Charge phase. This well, will you know, no, no, I got a Venom Cannon on the what? Prime. He's going to fire his. He's oh, going to fire his. Okay. This is such a waste. <laughs> D3 shots. One shot. And he hits. And he wounds. Wounds. Uh, the sixes don't That's do anything minus special. Minus three, right? So, so I need minus five. Minus two, yeah. Oh, goodness. You kill it. You kill it. Doesn't okay. blow. It doesn't oh, blow. Oh, it did blow up last time. That would have been way better. <laughs> it's just one more you, wound you, everything you've here. You've killed by something. You've killed it. I did. Yay. Yay. The warriors are going to fire everything into your armor of contempt. I'm loving with, the armor with of a, contempt. With a, with a, with Cover. I'm loving it right it now. It seems like a really good idea. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, no, they'll have two up saves against me. Yes. <laughs> but there's two damage. You know, I'm going to put the Venom will Cannon they, to them. Will they have two up saves? Because it's going to be minus one, so... And then that, it'll be a three up save. No, you ignore my minus one. Yeah, well, they're minus two. Oh, they're things. minus two. That's right. Okay, yeah. Let's so fire it's three up saves. Yeah, it'll be three up. Three. Sure. We'll start with the Venom Cannon because it's two damage, so I don't want to, like, partially okay. hurt one and then... Kill it with the Venom Ooh, Ooh three shots. Ooh. Isn't that pretty spicy? Yeah. It's pretty spicy. Yeah. Two, two's to hit, because I give him the plus one. So naturally I rolled a one. Why'd you do this to yourself? Two's to wound re-rolling ones. <laughs> Rolling ones! No, you piece of crap! <laughs> Sixes don't do anything, so it's just... Um, yeah, you're fine. I'm fine. <laughs> this is great. I have so much fun. <laughs> I'm so glad you came all the way from England. Two's to hit with the Death Spitters. <laughs> Threes to wound, re-rolling ones. All right, you know, it's a good roll. It's about seven wounds, and you get three up saves against these. I'll try these. and help you out by failing yeah, lots failing of things. Yeah, failing four of them for me. Yeah, I'll try and lose fail two four. Guys. Okay. Oh, you're such a bad three, sport. That's only that's three. One, one you, died. You promised me four. I tried. How many command points do you have? Um, 78. Well, I'll so go, spend two, uh, two. So spend two to re-roll and try to fail. Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't do it. Right, I've got, Don't uh, do it. It didn't help me. I've got zero CP. Knock you out. <laughs> so one guy dies. One is hurt. Yes. No CP. No. 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 You didn't spend the two command points. I just did. I did. No. Really no. I was telling you to spend it to roll one of the successes. It's on, it's on the internet. Into so failures. It, it's it's there. No. Now. No. It's on the internet. So it, it must be true. No. 
What are you doing? No, are you right? I didn't use it on one of the successes and turned oh, no. it into a failure. So that's no. the one. So it works. So it's dead. No. See, I don't want your pity. <laughs> I think you need it. <laughs> okay, charge phase. We're going to start with the Death Leaper. He's going to declare a charge to them. I'd love to Overwatch right now, but I don't have any CP left. <laughs> so it's a nine inch charge. Yes. Um, Lictors and Death Leapers get to reroll charge when they come in from hidden deployment. Mm. So, you know, let's see. Because if you can get in there, that's a pretty big deal. Nine inch charge. <laughs> Hi, <Jared>. uh, <laughs> It's a 10! He did it! I did it! He oh, did that it. was a 10, I swear. Bring it in! Oh. Bring it in! Oh, Where yeah. do you want to go there? As far, as far as I can go. As far as you can go. Well, around. although there's this objective right here. He's yeah, objective. I gave him alien cutting. So he's actually five Ooh, models objective yeah, secured. So even that way. I should have charged them. I didn't think about it. Actually, look, if you do kill this, you will pile in that way because they're closer than them. Yeah, and then I'll, and I'll contest the objective for yeah. you. Okay, yeah. let's do that. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do the... We still have a... We have a singular... No, I've used my command points. All right, so I just call the shots and see where they go. So have I. Um, the <laughs> prime to the bikes <laughs> makes it. Ooh, you can get... Um, yeah, I'm going to go... You want to extend the battle lines, right? Yeah, so I'll re-measure I'll re that after I roll this. Okay, right. They're going to charge too. <gasps> they made it. That's good. Oh, I want to go forward. Maybe this isn't looking so bad. Maybe it would be. You could take your pity wound back. You can slingshot all the way over here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So we're contesting it. We're actually capturing that. Well, maybe capturing ejector soon. Pretty good. That's Hiveguard will charge in just to put more bodies on it. Seven okay. inches will get them in. They're not that good in close combat, but now I've got the center. You didn't. You didn't charge my hero sergeant. I don't care about your hero sergeant. He's a hero. I should have saved one of these guys. No, I would have not killed you. <laughs> There's no way for you to interrupt. Nope. So I'll start with the Death Leaper. Yep. So he's fine where he is. Now, there's a couple rules you should know about the Death Leaper. Okay. If you're within six inches of him, you cannot do actions. And second off, if you're in engagement range with him, you cannot use stratagems. Now, that's not, that one doesn't apply too much here. It's a really important one, though, because he's a really good use to charge something that you are worried will react, will, mm. will uh, spend the two command points to fight. Yeah. Because he can't do that. So then you can fight somewhere else safely. Now, both of us are out of command points, so it won't matter here. Okay, so we got seven attacks. We could do this. Twos to hit. Sixes count as two hits. Ooh. No, they don't. He is not synapse, nor is he in synapse range. Okay. That was my synaptic imperative, so the warriors will all get that. And he's strength seven, so threes to wound. No rerolls here, though. They're two damage a pop, though, so I'm not... Okay, Ooh. okay, okay, all right. Ooh. Normally minus three AP, but you're like, nah, I've got contempt for that. So okay. you, you got five up saves. Fives. Fail four of them, which you did, and you lost both your bikes. Was that two damage each? They're two damage Ooh, each. Ooh, he's quite tasty. Yes. Um, bikes disappear. He, is he will just consolidate. He won't be able to get onto them, yeah. but he'll at least be contesting the objective because yeah. he counts as five models and objective secured. Brilliant. That's his alien cunning warlord trait. All right, the Tyranid of Prime will go next. These are bone swords, even though they look like scything talents. They're special Scything Talent Bone Swords. <laughs> so he's got the Bone Swords. He actually has the Passenger. I forgot this. He had plus two to advance and charge. Right. It, it would, that charge was an 11, so it didn't matter. So he got five attacks with his Bone Swords, hitting on twos. Uh, sixes oh. would be two hits. So you know I got two. And I'm strength eight right now. Uh, five. So threes to wound. Whoops. That's a miss and a miss. Oh, sorry. And a wound. So minus two normally, so minus one. So four up save. Okay. That's two damage. So that's a start. Now the warriors will go, they should be able to do this. Yeah. The warriors will have 16 attacks, hitting on twos because of the plus one to hit. Sixes are two hits. Hey, look at that. Three sixes, but only one one, which means I actually got more hits than I started with. Threes to wound. Oh. Interesting question. Yes. I'm trying, in Age of Sigmar it works differently. My sixes to hit also auto wound. Mm -hmm. So do I put those three aside and I got three hits? And then I roll for the extra hits for the damage, or to see if I wound? Yeah, so sixes so, to hit, auto wound. And they become two hits. In Age of yeah. Sigmar, they've specified that you have to choose one. Oh. You can't do both. In so 40k, the, they don't have that. So the sixes to hit, become the ones become auto wounds, and then you get extra hits which you need to roll the wounds for. Right, so okay, both okay. It's so both. I'll put three of these aside. These are three sixes. Those are auto wounded. So those are the auto wounds because they have toxin sacks. Yes. And uh, now these are wounding on threes. Now technically fours would always wound, but who cares? <laughs> threes to wound, re-rolling ones, because they're also strength eight. Uh, this is a good, pretty good roll. That's really scary. Sixes aren't anything special, so that's another five, 10, 12. Wow. So 15 total. I think they're dead. Four up saves, they're and that, that kills them. They're dead. I would have killed a unit of like four oh. or five of them. Yeah, that was scary. Okay, I'll consolidate, protect my guy. 
Wish I had one more command point because what I would do right here is overrun, which they've changed now because this is being filmed after the FAQ, or the day the FAQ came out actually. And I would actually do an overrun at the end, hop on this objective and take it from you. But you know what you have done? You've completely flipped the script. I have. All of a sudden, there's very few blue bodies left. I know. You still have the Terminators, which can do a lot of work for you. And I don't have that much left. But I don't have that much left either. I know, I know, I know. I'm just thinking, I'm brilliant. I'm, I don't have any command points to minus one damage them. Oh. And they no longer have Catalyst on them for five up field of pain. But you killed all the multi mounter attack bikes. I did. You killed one of the Dreadnoughts with a missile launcher last can. So all my big guns, apart from that Dreadnought right there, have gone all of a sudden. Yeah, I'm excited to see if this can actually bring me back. We'll and see. And the other thing as well is you've turned off this one. You've stopped me scoring that. I've got one objective left. You do. Matthew, that was tactical genius. <laughs> look at me. That's <laughs> what I've been trying to tell you this whole time. <laughs> so, and, and let's, let's look at, you got Grindem down because I, I killed three things. And I killed four. Yeah, so that's actually four, closer than we thought. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I killed. No, you killed I, the two units of attack bikes. But I also and... killed your captain on your turn. You did. But so hold on. But on your turn, you killed the Broodlord, the two units of Gene Stealers, oh. and my Tyranid Warrior. Yeah. That's four. Yeah, but over the course of the two battle rounds. Yeah, the two turns. Four. four. So, so you I didn't get Grand them down. Okay, brilliant. My goodness. Well, this is actually working out. I got deploy teleport homer and extend battle lines because I grabbed the middle one. Yeah. And I got my 10 primaries, of course, earlier. I didn't mention them. Okay. And so that brings my score to 25 and you're at 30. I'm at... Because I think you got 20... 30, yes. You got 20 secondaries yes. and 10 primaries. We have the same number of primaries. 30 to 20. Interesting. Yeah. 30 to 25. Ooh. Huh. Really close. Yeah. I and, and, I've, and I've got two out of three of my blood and guts, so if I kill one more thing in close combat, which I won't be doing, unfortunately, unless you charge me, I won't be doing in your turn, so I'll have to hold on to that one and finish I it. I think I said that you made a tyr bad Tyranid list a bit too soon. I think <laughs> <laughs> you've got whittling in my backfield, you're all over the middle field, yeah. all my big guns are done apart from him. The last cannons, if you do enough work with your last cannons mm. and you some, and you bolter down that Death Leaper, I think you'll be fine. But it's a bit squeaky bum time now for the uh, <laughs> Space Marines, I think. All right, let's go to battle round three. Before you draw, I have one last synaptic comparative to use. That'll be the Tyranid Primes. Six is to hit in shooting, do two hits. Okay. You have drawn your three objectives, good sir. Yeah, and they're not great. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no prisoners. Got to kill loads of stuff. 30 wounds worth of stuff, which is most of your army. Do I have 30 wounds on the you table? You do, just. Okay, because okay. if you didn't, you'd only be able to get two victory points for yeah. that if you killed my whole army. No retreat, no surrender. Can't fail morale. Also, Tech Marine can't move off of that objective. And the tactical marines can't move off of that objective. I think I got that one. They can charge off of it, just not normal move or advance off. Of yes, it. which is something you showed me on the card, which I never knew I didn't have. That, that was good. Yeah, and Steve then, pointed that out when the first time we played it. He's like, "Yeah, you can charge off of it." I'm like, "Okay, good." Steve was the genius. On yeah, this. That's surprising. <laughs> I'll tell him he said that. <laughs> Behind enemy lines, I've got to get two units in your deployment zone. That's not going to happen. So I was thinking about burning a CP to. But it's your only command point, right? Yes. So I'm not gonna. I've already got 20 on the primaries. I've got three more turns to get 25 points. No, you've only got five no, points sorry, for 20 primaries. 20 on the secondaries. So I've got 20 on the secondaries. Yeah. So I've got three more turns to get my 25 remaining. So I'll hold on to that CP for now. Okay. So I'm ready to move, actually. Tech Marine's not close enough to get no. hand up the plus one to hit? No. I'm sure That's that will come back and bite you in the butt. It would not bite me in the butt. Four twos on their way. Yeah. <laughs> Movement phase. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna do the teleport home and redeploy the Terminators yet. Because 24 inch range storm bolt, I can shoot down here at the warriors, right? Yeah, and that w that rate of, weight of fire is going to do it. And I'm staying in the to tactical doctrine. I was just, just going to ask that. Yes, I figured a, you would. AP minus one, right? But it was worth the ask. So this could sting a little bit. So they oh, move wow. there. Because yeah. I don't have my no. stratagem on to, to minus one damage against the last cannons. I don't yeah. have the five up feel no pain. Yeah, so it's yeah. Gonna, right. He just needs to move six inches. Oh, I, I should have killed your objective secured guy, shouldn't I? I'm three of that. Yep. You, don't go, you haven't got that one anymore. Nope. It's clever, isn't it's it? It's not mine. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah, I'll move around towards that objective there. I think I'm actually going to charge him with the Tech Marine because he's got the, the, the Servo Claw and the thing, and the Servo Claw is three damage, and they've got three wins. Sounds about right. So, and once again, I do not have the command point to make that <laughs> minus one damage. So we'll charge This part of me that's... Uh, Regretting bringing a Vanguard detachment. I think these will charge in as well. This is the guy with the combi melter, my sergeant. Ah. So that's the only point. That, so they'll deal with them. And then around here, this tactical marines will have to deal with the death. Seven wounds now. 
Yeah. Seven. Yeah. That's crazy. That's like five too many as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to try and take some of those wounds away. I'm really. He's minus one to hit too. Is and he? four pinball. Is he? Yeah. 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 <sighs> We're going to start over here. Last cannons to the face. He's scary. He's oh, last cannons. Yeah. Oh, okay. The, look, I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel here. My <laughs> tactical marines will have to deal with the warriors. I'm hoping the last cannons might kill the Death Leaper. Sure. Okay. okay. So minus one to hit. Is he? Yeah. Brilliant. Force to hit. Oh, come on! <laughs> look at you. Like, I, don't, I don't care. I'm quite pleased about that. Well, it's okay. You're not done yet. You're not done yet. Threes to wound. Is it any minuses to this as well? No, no. Threes to wound. Okay, so, so three of them get through. And he's got a four up and vulnerable save. Yes. You need two of them, so you're going to need two of them to get through in the end to kill him. Uh, I've got a CP. No, it's two command points to reroll. Oh, yeah. No I choice here. It. I can't do it. I, can't. I have to say, two command point rerolls, I like them. Because it lets, just lets the dice be the dice. Four up, invulnerable save. Okay, he can't die, but that doesn't mean you can't finish him off with everything else. D6 damage. And, ow. One wound. That one wound left. So my sergeant. Well, unpin a grenade and throw it at him to catch on fours. Huh? And he'll wound him on a three. And he doesn't wound. Okay. So, okay, bolt uh, to fire. Lots of bolters. Death by firing squad. Three. Fours. 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 Minus one. You get to reroll re one, though. One. And you get to reroll a hit, don't I you? I haven't done that yet, yeah. I think you forgot that on your dreadnought. Okay. Um, because you had. Uh, no, you got four hits. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. three wounds. Uh, five, five, five. One wound. If you could fail that. Simple roll here. Four up and vulnerable save. Don't do it, Matthew. Or don't he's dead. Do don't do it. Don't do what? Fail it? No, well, I'm I mean, sorry pass to disappoint it, you. Pass it. You failed well, you, you it. You weren't Thank very specific. Very That's very kind of you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, dangity dang dang. There goes the Death Leaper. You feel better? Yeah, threat number one dealt with. We, he's a problem for tomorrow's winters. <laughs> <laughs> threat number two is the warriors in the middle. And I've got Tactical Marines, Terminators, and my Tech Marine, which are going to start on this. We'll start with the Tech Marine, and he's going to chuck a grenade, okay? Okay. Tech. So twos to hit. Tech Marines hit on twos. It's good. Oh. Make oh, it a reroll. Yeah, reroll. Re reroll. Re 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 Did I hit Look it? at you with your discipline. Threes, Threes to wound. Minus one. Yeah, because it's a grenade, so it doesn't benefit from tactical. Five up, or one of them dies. One of them dies. Where's D3? It's D3. Oh, is it D3? It's, it's not D3. two? Yeah. For some reason, I thought it was two. Uh, All right. Well, what it is. Check now. <laughs> I stand corrected. It was D3 damage, which means it's one. Yeah. Down to one. Right. There's a combi melter in there. I'm going to fire all the guns. The combi part and the other part and the, all the guns, okay? Okay. But the melter would be the last thing you roll. Yeah. The melter have, should be the first thing no, I roll. No, because I have one wound left on one guy. So you want to do the melter yeah. last. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So here's. Because melter one shots them. Here's the bolters that are hitting on threes, okay? Okay. And then these are hit. These are hitting on fours because it's both part of the combis, okay? Right. And you I get to reroll re ones and one miss. Oh no, you're gonna save uh, it for the melt. Save probably. it for the melt. Of course. <laughs> Wasn't trying to bait it out. Five. Five to wound. Five to wound. Oh, three wounds. That's gonna right. do it. Minus one. That's so okay. Five up saves. I'm gonna I'm gonna fail all three of these, so the next guy only has one wound for your melter. Oh, I'd be Just happy for you. With that. Oh no, the last, next guy has two wounds. Okay. All right, melt him. On a four. And a three, act. and I don't get a save. Don't get a save. Oh, yes. he's, minimum, he's dead. minimum. He's dead. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, that was eight kill, wounds. Kill, kill. You just did eight damage. That's nice. All right, well, at least two will die. Suffer the alien. And then storm bolters galore all the way over there. Yeah, suffer not the alien to live. So now, the interesting hit. thing, this is mine. Uh, well, no, I'm just saying suffer not the alien to live because oh. that's what ace space means do. Isn't there a isn't there a stratagem that's I, that? I, I'm not gonna. There might be actually. I'm just gonna hit you on threes and reroll re ones, ones and one, one miss. Reroll. Okay. This is five five, five up saves. Don't dice don't count. Fives. Um, now, interestingly, you are within three inches of barricade, so my minus one, you get a plus one. Sorry, what? Um, Minus one. Better. Yeah, because I get plus. minus one tactical, plus one for the. Oh, thing. I see. So I see. Minus one, plus saves. one. Yes. Okay. So four up saves. Uh, yeah. They're uh, dead. Oh, they're dead. No, oh, they're dead. They're dead. Yeah, you didn't have to fire them with your melta. Nice. And they are gone. My army is dwindling. You want to charge in with your tech marine? Yeah, I'm going to charge in with my tech marine. Why not? So, so what do you need? Up save. It's uh, more than a seven, not an eight. So seven inch charge. Okay. okay. No rerolls. The dice will decide. The dice. The dice say, nah. You've, no. you've had enough. Yeah. You've that's, had enough. I think that's the end of my turn. The tactical marines don't want to charge the the uh, tier prime with kill two him, damage. Though, with the bone swords and the things and yeah. the two damage, it's going to be painful if I do. Okay. Well, you got 19 out of 30. Why are you saying should I charge him with the thing? Oh. 
Oh, no. What are you doing? I'm trying to get you to charge it so I can murder them. Okay, right, let's do this. No, don't. (laughs) It's a bad idea. I hear you saying don't, which means saying yes. Oh, no. Okay, charge with the tax. Oh, I think they make it. We're in. What are you doing? You said don't charge, which I heard definitely, definitely do charge. This is Winter's feeling confident. This is the best idea ever. Yeah, bring in your... Seven attacks. So at the end of the charge phase, I'm going to do that, right? Yeah. And then at the start of the fight phase, these are the shooty guys. I'm going to pile in. Hey, they're not I, monsters. And I'm going to tag them so you can't fall back and do the thing, right? Mm-hmm. It's clever. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe these people do that. Ooh, That's so ooh, cheesy. Why do people you know, do that? You know what else happened there as well, just completely by fluke? They're tactical marines next to an objective. So well, okay, I you're, think I you're think, on any I think right you're getting now. ahead of yourself here because you're assuming they're going to be alive in a moment. Of course they're going to be alive. They're brave space marines of the 13th. We're going to be fine, I think. Yeah, armor contempt really is what's going to do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you got seven attacks, don't you? Well, I've got chainsaw on my sergeant. Oh, is that's got an AP? Yeah. I guess you got to do that separate. Well, yeah, so we did the sergeant chainsaw thing. Sure. I can reroll ahead. And he's going to wound you on fives. That might as well. Oh, no, that's great. Okay, that was other, fun. The other guys, threes, <laughs> fives. Okay, we just say hello. We run up Hi. and shook hands. Yeah. Hi, how's it going? He scratched me back, thank you. Well, I'm going to say hello back okay. in the traditional Tyranid culture, which is chop you in half with a bone sword. Trying to eat you. Yeah. Maybe. Mm. Twos? So that's a good question. Yeah. Tyranid Prime is twos. Yeah. HQ, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's twos. Yeah. He's twos. Okay. Ooh. Sixes do two hits because we still. No, we don't. No, what? we're on the next one where oh. sixes to shoot do two Ooh. hits. And these are twos to wound. Is he adrenal? Oh, yeah. no, he's stronger anyway. Isn't oh, yeah, so yeah. No, he's, no, he's not stronger. He's actually base strength five, just like the warriors. Oh. But adrenal glands and the bone swords make it eight. So okay. twos to wound. Twos mm. to wound. But for, oh come on! Do you want a command point in that? I have no command point. <laughs> you knew that. Well, if you fail all three four-up saves, then they'll die. I'm gonna fail all three. Four then I will get no primary points. You almost did. My sergeant's left alive. Your sergeant's left. Hero sergeant. Unless you no, he can't even Hero run. Hero sergeant. Can he? No, I get no primary. You the, are you within an inch? Oh wait, no, we're not done yet. My hive guard can attack. Oh. Yeah, you did it. You did it. You gone and done did it. Well, for some reason they have three attacks each, even though they have no melee weapons. Yeah. So we're hitting on fours. Okay. I don't know why they give me such high numbers and such little. Okay. Ooh. Whatever. But Six is strength as well. Sixes yeah. don't do anything. Uh, uh, strength five, so threes to wound. Don't do it, Matthew. Threes to wound. Oh, There's only you. two, and you thank get your three up saves. Yeah, I've got this. It'll be no. You've got problem. no I've problem. Got this. Oh. I saw that one first. I saw it first. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Okay. So it actually worked against me. I thought that was a really bad move. But well, look at you, mister, taking the objective yeah. from the middle. Yeah. It's okay. Like, it's like I planned it. Thanks for planting that seed in my brain. It actually way. turns was, out to be, it was brilliant. Yeah. Because was uh, I wasn't thinking about you grabbing the objective, but now that you did that, I'm like, oh, right. Oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So much for playful banter. <laughs> this is just nothing, but let's just try to destroy each other now. Right. So you're at 19 out of 30 for your no prisoners. Yes. So that should be fine for you to keep doing that one. I'm still no retreating, no surrendering. Right, at the end of my turn, if you I'm haven't... A, I'm a ditch behind enemy lines. <laughs> no behind enemy lines, okay. Yeah. So, so no I, extra I points there yet. No. But soon. But you know who else gets no extra points? Because I've taken the primaries from your genius. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh no. That's pretty funny, Witchers. <laughs> yeah, it it's is. pretty yeah. funny. Yeah, I think it's hilarious. It was... <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> So I pulled secure no man's land, which is get two objective in no man's land. So there's this one right here I'm gonna to try to get. And then one of these two, maybe right. the lictor will get it. I got attempting target. So you get to pick one in no man's land and I have to go for it. Does he have objective secured? No. No. He has, I'm gonna eat all your guys and just be there anyways. But I don't think he'll kill five guys. Uh, Unlike the death I don't think you could advance round to that one in time. No, because I'm stuck on. But so. you could get it next turn or the next turn or the next. Here's one. This is my tempting target. I'm going to flip it so it's clear which one is tempting That's you. That's tempting. OK. And okay. I still have blood and guts. So as soon as I kill something in close combat, I'm mm. G to G. One thing. Command phase, the prime gets to hand out his stuff. Uh, but there's no core nearby. So oh. we're done. So the only movement I have to do is this lictor moving 10 inches this way. It's a tempting target. I'm coming for it. Shooting. No. I need to get you off my objective. No, you can Although, leave alone. Hero Sergeant. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Because I, I actually want to shoot them out of line of sight there. And every five to hit, we'll just kill a, or be a mortal wound. Yeah, and then... Because he doesn't have a lot of attacks. Like, he's basically a, a, a slightly weaker Death Leaper. But he's still in two damage. Yeah, still, but there's, yeah. I think it's six attacks. And there's five guys to kill. Mm. So that's like things going very well for me. But if they shoot indirectly, they'll be minus one. It'll be fives. It'll be fives to hit. I don't care about the plus one save because they're just mortal wounds. So I have to look at this right now as, 
Because, oh no, this is your, you own that objective. So right now you own this objective. Technically this one, he should die in close combat and you have that one. Mm. So you have four objectives. So if I kill you off of this one and kill you there, you'll have two objectives that only get you 10 primary. Mm. If I kill everything off of there, then well, you'll have two objectives and you'll have 10 primary. And you get the tempting target. Yeah, I think Can I need to focus I on them. Can I you with this target? I need to, I need to focus on him. You yeah, you did, you did. Okay, by all will shoot into them. Okay. So three D3 shots, <laughs> only five shots. Every five plus is a mortal wound. If I get one mortal wound, it was a total waste because he's a two damage Yeah, attack. you need to, uh... Ooh, Four. look at that! Well, they no, six. What? No, they're not in synapse. Yeah. Dang it, if they're in synapse, that would have been six mortal wounds. Is it really? Well, because six is, do no. two, they count as two hits. You might do And this. every hit does a mortal wound. Yeah, you might actually do this. His six attacks with two damage? Yeah, I think you can do it. I think I might have tempted him too much. Yeah, it was tempting. He's going to charge. Can you overwatch? Do you want to overwatch? I've got a CP, but nah. <laughs> okay, I didn't, I didn't think it would be worth it either. Okay. Nine inch charge. All right. He made it. I'm okay. Swing over here as much as we can. I've got to kill six or three guys with six attacks. I'm mm. not comfortable with this. It's twos to hit, threes to wound. Like, that's just like. That's it. No rerolls. Like that's going to happen. Mm. Perfect scenario here. You ready for my perfect scenario? Okay. I kill two of them. Right. And the last one fails morale. Why? Because then you don't get no retreat, no surrender. <sighs> so, but you, have, you still, your morale would still be like, you'd have to roll five or six to fail morale. Mm. And you don't have the command points to auto pass morale. No. So I kind of want to just kill two, but if I kill three, I'll be happy with that too. Two's to hit. Okay, good start. Sixes don't do anything because I'm not in synapse range, nor am I in that synaptic imperative. Threes to wound, strength seven. Mm. Right, strength seven. Yeah, I'm not behemoth, otherwise mm. it'd be wounding on twos. Threes to wound. Uh, okay. Right, that's painful. Yeah, that's minus that's... three normally, so minus two. Okay. So you got a five up save against all I six. I need to make four fives. I want you to make none. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you've, you've failed exactly three. Did you, no, you can't command point reroll. I, yeah, I tempted you with that target a bit too much. I got it. It's mine. Mm. Now you can fight with your little, uh, little su super he's sergeant. A super sergeant, space marine dude. Who is he going to tickle with his chainsaw? Gonna, uh, I don't know. The <laughs> I don't know. Really the HQ. Because whatever you're going to do next is going to overkill him. Yeah. Uh, oh no, one less. He didn't charge. He'll hit on, and he'll reroll that. He <laughs> hit twice. Okay. Fives. Um, a wound. <laughs> Which I don't save. He's done the five wounds. Yes. And then I'll just pile in and return the favor. Do you want me to pick him up? Uh, it's up to you. I, I could, armor contempt. Yeah, armor I, contempt. I, I was going to say I could easily flub this. I'm, yeah, like I should kill him, but yeah. the armor contempt really makes it not yeah. quite sure. Two's to hit. There's not enough volume mm. here. And then uh, two's. two's to wound. Yeah. Yeah. No rerolls. So yeah, okay. so you make three, four up saves. Um, I might be okay. I'm not okay. He's dead, just barely though. But that's just barely. That's yeah. hardly every move a model thing. That gets me my blood and guts though. Actually, I already got my blood and guts you from did. the lictor. Yes. So I'll, I'll go with that. And I got the tempting target as well. And I get secure no man's land. So I got 15 secondary victory points. Did you? How did you do that? By oh. taking, because you tempted me. But you only had like eight models. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's called efficiency. Really? At the end, you, you get no retreat, no surrender. Yes. So that puts me on 40 points. So we're both at 40 points. Are we? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, uh, look at that. What? We're out of time. So you know what? We'll just look at the current score and that's where we're at. No, 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 no. It's I a draw. Find, I can find some more time. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry. I've got, I've got kids. I got to okay, go. Fine. Gentlemen's but it's, yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah thank you. Right. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I used I'm all out of synaptic imperatives. The, right. the hive mind is getting tired. Now. Needs caffeine. Five, ten. But you've got that one and that one, so I'm not on more than you. So, yeah, so you 10, get ten on the primaries. primaries. And again, I move just beyond the range <laughs> for my tag marine. Well, you thought he was going to charge. He didn't really care. I've just, yes. And so I've got, I've only got four units left. I need to, oh, cards. Cards are a Yeah, thing. let's do the cards. Yeah. So tech marine is moving forward. And he's going to still hold that one. So, oh yeah, I have storm hostile objective in battlefield supremacy. So basically I need to take this objective that you control. Because I already control this one, right? Yes. And I can't get here to take this one off your lictor. So I have to get that one. So that's Storm Hostile Objective. And I've got Battlefield Supremacy Take 3. Right, and you've already got two. One. You've yeah. already got two, so this will be your third. And where I'm so conflicted is the Terminators can't actually see anything. Even if I move five inches forward, the terrain here, there's so much bush. I can't actually see that. True line of sight is a thing. It's turn four. I have teleport homers. I'm thinking about picking them up. 
but I'm not sure. What does Zeke say? Does Zeke say I pick him up? On a one, two, three, I pick him up. Right, I'm not picking him up because you shouldn't listen to Zinch. Uh, well, maybe Zinch knew that you weren't going to listen. Damn it. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna teleport in the Look, sky? I spent five points on a teleport homer. And Darn it, you're going to use I'm it. I'm going to use it. Basically. So they go up in the sky, and next turn, I'll probably your reinforcement step, you put it in your deployment or within three inches of one of your guys. But the thing about being in your deployment as well, because if it's in your deployment, you can then charge really close, right? I think. No, no, it still says nine inches Does away. It? Yeah. Mm. Why am I telling? Well, they're useless. Because they're, they're useless over there, yeah. They're useless over there, and I spent those five points. Right, let's shoot some guns. Well, let's and you also got this guy right here, so if he somehow. Yeah, I don't know. He's not killing all those biofors. <laughs> <laughs> he can try. Maybe he'll kill one, and the rest will run. They're actually pretty bad morale, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so shooting, where are you going to start? Last cannons into the hive guard. Okay. So four shots on threes, one reroll. All right, oh. well, that's a good start. Ah. Threes to wound. Okay. Oh. Minus four, mm, right? Three, minus three. Last cannons are minus three, so six up save. And that does d6 damage. There are four wounds each. Okay. Wow. <laughs> the dice are determined to make us play all the way to the end of turn five. Okay, I guess. Uh, you lose a wound. How many wounds? There are four wounds, yeah. You did one with four last time. You're going to chuck a grenade into the biobores? You hit? Uh, I believe you wound. I'll look up their stats if I roll particularly high or low. That should be good, but I'll double check. I pass it. There are four up safe normally. Okay, he's going to charge in. I, I'm going to double check if they can overwatch with these guns. Because if they can, I'm totally doing it. Oh, wait, no, I need to save the command point for minus one damage. Ah, you know what? I'm not even going to check. Just charge it. You made it. <laughs> what a surprise. And then um, my tech marine is going to... I can't even storm that hostile objective. Why am I going in there? Well, because he's a hero of the Imperium. That's why. He knows what he's supposed he's to do. He's going in. Bring it in. If you kill the Prime, it makes right. it really hard for me to play the game. Yes, and when I pile in, I tag both of them like that, right? And then he's going to smack the Prime, okay? I will close up his carapace. I'll spend a command point and give him minus one damage. Hmm. Servo Claw. His album is in Axler's 2. Servo Claw does 3. This hits on a 3. It's strength 8. <sighs> oh no! One minute. One minute. Do I spend 2 CP on a command point? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay. Why have I got 2 CP left for anyway? I don't know why. Let's spend it. Seems anyway. important though. <sighs> on a 1, 2, 3, do I spend it? What does Zinc say? I spend it, which means don't listen to Zinc. I'm not spending it. I'm telling you, Zinc just caught on to your ploy <laughs> and is telling you the opposite of what you should do. AP minus 3. It's the Assault Doctrine. Well, you got your Force Axe now. You didn't oh, win right. me. Yeah, I didn't you win didn't you. Didn't win me. I'm so, I'm <laughs> I don't know what, you're, what are you waiting for, man. Uh, threes with the axe. Um, no, I've oh, done right. a reroll to hit. Have I done a reroll to hit? No, you I did, did do not. the reroll to hit. I just didn't wound. Okay, so I'm wasting everyone's time. Strength six. Threes. AP minus, minus three because of the assault doctrine. So six up saves. One gets through. What's the damage? Two. Down to one. So one wound. Okay. That was fun. That Tyranid Prime, actually, I should point out, when he killed that sergeant last time, he gained another attack from his. Did he? Yeah, because every time he kills a unit, he gains an attack to a maximum of three for the game. So he's up to nine attacks now. Yeah, he's six base. Yeah. The Maw Claws give him plus one attack. Okay. And then every time I kill a unit, he gets plus one attack. He's wow. killed two units. Now that plus is only maximum three. Right. The plus one is in there, and then another. So I can only get one more. So once, if, sorry, if I kill this tech marine, <laughs> I'll get another attack, and that'll be my max. Okay. Twos to hit him. Okay. Uh, oh, all of them, and six doesn't do anything. And then twos to wound him. He's not toughness five, right? He's toughness uh, four. Toughness so two, space marine. Twos to wound. Twos yeah, to okay. wound. Oh, was there any sixes there? There was a six. Okay, that was an auto wound. Twos okay. to wound. Twos to wound. Okay, so we've got seven wounds in total. Seven wounds. Uh, minus two normally, so minus one. So you're three up. Yep. Oh, that's six damage. One minute. One minute. <laughs> one minute. I think if you reroll one of those and make it, you stay alive. No. He's an OG tech marine. Which means he what? He only has four wounds, not five. Oh my goodness. Oh, support characters, right? Am I right? Oh, oh no! <laughs> it's <laughs> okay. Well, all right. I'm going to consolidate. And at the end of you can give me free movement. I'm going to take it. Not that he needed it. We got this fight right here. He charged, so he gets to go next. Does he have a chain sword? No. So one hit. A five to wound. All right, that was fun. The biovores are going to kick your teeth in. What do Maybe. Five years do in close They've got chitin barbed hooks. Nice. Watch out, they're strength six instead of five. Okay. They're minus one instead of nothing. Oh, wait. Um, None of that mattered. <laughs> Four is to hit. Oh, we're going to kill them. We're going to kill them. It's sixes? No, they don't have toxin sacks. I'm like, six is auto wound. I'm like, nope, nope. Uh, three is to wound you. 
Oh, he's totally dead. Uh, three up saves. Don't say that. Three up saves. My heart can't take any more. Oh, so close. <laughs> the idea was to stop you shooting, to tie you up so that that's, that worked. It well, worked. Well, I'm going to consolidate and we'll just kick your teeth in next turn. So what'd you get? Do you know what didn't work? What? Any secondary objective. Oh. None of them worked whatsoever. <laughs> Your turn five. Are, so are you going to throw any of them away? Um, Maybe. Well, no prisoners. I'm kind of getting there. Storm hostile objective. <laughs> I can't say what with. What can I storm hostile objective with? Battlefield Super. Let's get rid of both of them. We're going to keep no prisoners. I'm not bitter. It's fine. Turn five. Right. Let's go right. and you'll be fine. No, you're four. It's good. It's exciting. Okay. <sighs> okay. Pick up those cards. Yeah. Pick up those cards. I've got the cards. I've got the cards. You can. <laughs> Well, I've got two objectives, so I'm going to get 10 primary points, because yeah. you've got two objectives. Yes. So I don't have more than you. I almost kicked this guy's teeth, and that would have been a big deal. Mm. That would have been another that five points for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, big deal. One minute, I've got two models left on the table. All right, I'm going to draw my three cards. I drew Battlefield Supremacy. Get so three. So control three, that's easy. Uh, behind enemy lines, put two in your uh, deployment, which that's is easy. actually easy too. That's easy, yeah. Bring it down is the hard one. Kill the that, dreadnought. That'll be the highest wounds thing in your army. That's mm. currently on the table. And uh, that's the dreadnought. Yeah. That's harder. That's harder. Especially because the lictor would needs to leave that objective to go after him. The lictor actually would suck at helping because it's two yeah. damage and you're minus one. And damage. also, my tech marine can help heal it. Oh wait. Well, your tech marine's dead, man. <laughs> <laughs> so bring it down is going to be hard. I'm tempted to spend my one command point to reroll that, but at this point, I, I think I need to save, save it. There's nothing to do in the command phase because all my core units are gone. I'm going to fall back with these biovores like so. My whole army was able to heroic intervene, did you know that? Oh yeah, I just remembered. <laughs> it never came up. <laughs> it never came up. Some tricky, tricky choices here. So what I'm going to try to do is basically use the Lictor and the Tyranny Prime to take that objective away from you. That also gets them into your territory. So we're going to go for it. So this Lictor is going to move to here. We're going to use a charge to get onto it. Tyranny Prime will come to here, and he'll use a charge to get on it. He gets plus two to his charges, so right. it should be a piece of cake. And that gets you behind enemy lines and battlefield supremacy. If, yeah, assuming that he somehow doesn't punch one of them to death. And assuming he dies. Yeah, well then they have to shoot him to death. Now I have as a backup a Venom Cannon here. Okay. Which I'd rather fire at him. Right. See, right now I want to get, I want to get super greedy. I want to have one of them fire back and kill him, and the other two fire. Because if somehow we also kill him, I get bring it down, but that seems incredibly unlikely. Definitely do that. Split and fire always works. Yeah, that's what, that's what my mama always told me. So what I'm going to do instead is I'll fire the Venom Cannon here back. Ooh. And if he kills it, then these are not bad at hurting him. So we're going to be D3 shots. That's not a good start. Threes to hit. Uh, okay, that's a hit. And two's to wind. Yeah. Venom, Venom Cannon. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Uh, minus three becomes minus two. I need a five, is what you're saying. Yes. Armor contempt. No. I'm thinking about command point in that. Because you have two command points left. Well, it's the difference between it's a big battlefield difference. supremacy and not. So if I turn these two, if you turn into a five, I totally kill him with them. But it means what I do really mean? don't hurt your dread. What do you mean? Then you, how are they totally kill with Six them? shots, threes and twos. So threes and threes, minus three AP. But it does mean you, t you take a lot of the wounds off your dreadnought, because they would all fire the dreadnought instead. Why do you keep going down there? <laughs> what are you looking for? Ooh. Answers? Ooh, a candy. Ooh, a gum. <laughs> Ooh, a candy. <laughs> do it. You're going to spend your last two he's command points? He's the hero sergeant, okay? He's the, I get a command point back okay. next turn as well. He's the hero okay. sergeant. He cannot die. He will not Five up. Die. This will pass. It won't Oh, pass. no. It didn't matter. It will not pass. So many command points okay. wasted on rerolls. Okay. All right. All right. Hive guard wall fire at your contemptor. Threes to hit. Ooh. My goodness. Ooh. Uh, four is to wound, which yeah. will also... Uh, mortal wound. So three mortal wounds, and they're normally minus three, so minus two. What's mm. your base save? Is it two up? Three up save. So five up. Yep. So one gets through, normally three damage, so it becomes two. So that's five damage in total. Okay. Do you have a shrug? A, uh, a field opinion on him? No. It's that's all my shooting. Those biovores fell back. Mm -hmm. We're going to declare a charge with my prime first. He has plus two to this, so that'll become a nine. So we're going to place him here. Puts him on the objective, and then the lictor will charge. He makes it. And they should both be on the objective now. And you can't interrupt, so it's just nope. a bunch of damage two attacks that become damage one. Yes. And uh, we're gonna try to chop him up. We'll start with the lictor, because I actually have better AP with that one, so he has a better chance to kill him. Although the prime is juiced up to 10 attacks. So lictor is gonna try for it though. Okay. So we're looking at twos to hit. 
Six is oh, oh, three ones. Oh dear. Three ones. What are you doing? Uh, seven strength seven. seven, so four is to wound. So two wounds, normally minus three, so you have a five up save. Oh, one, only one gets through. One, he's on three remaining. Yeah, because it's two damage down to one. That minus one damage is probably going to keep you alive. Okay, Prime, you can do this. You got ten attacks that are going to be one damage each, but you're going to have four up saves against this one. Yeah. So that's the scary part. Can he do it? So we're looking at twos to hit. Oh, those ones. Those ones. Now, these are threes to threes wound. Threes to wound, yes. So maybe yes, he yes. was the better. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I get to both do it. So if somehow this actually works, then that's huge. I'm just kidding. Six. So Six. on average, you die. Four up saves. Four up saves. No rerolls. No rerolls. Three re wounds remaining. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, nowhere near. What on earth? <laughs> Two wounds remaining. I'll kill you on your turn. He's going to kick you back. The Prime's only got four wounds left, right? Yeah. So he kicks him on threes, and I can reroll a hit. And he'll wound him on a three, because it's a big, heavy JCB kick him in the face. And it's Assault Doctrine, so it's AP minus it one. It is, actually. Yeah, completely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, four up saves. Uh, and he takes a wound. Stamp on his foot. Ow! <laughs> Still take the objective, though. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Hard choice for me. I got Battlefield Supremacy and Behind Enemy Lines. I know. Do I keep bringing it down? Uh, because you've got two wounds left. I know, but you could just fall back. I'm a Tech Marine can just tell, oh wait. No, wait, no, I'm not Tech Marine. <laughs> and your Terminators will come back in. Mm. And your deployment. Yeah. And they can just kind of hose down those guys and they won't get bring it down. But if I don't, if I throw away bring it down, yeah. then you'll leave them in there and you'll last cannon me to the face and use the Terminators elsewhere. Mm. So it's almost like I'm dictating what you have to do. Yeah, what do you want me to do? I want you... Do you want me to shoot them in the face or not? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is what I've been feeling. I know, right? We've got so few models left at the end, and it's the hardest game of 4K I've ever played. You know what? I'm going what? to throw away Bring It Down so that you hopefully... And I'm going to say hopefully stay there, because I don't even know what's in your best interest anymore. Because <laughs> I, I, keep, I keep accidentally giving you bad or good advice with my bad advice. <laughs> So I will get uh, 10 more victory points. Let's count up our score at the end of battle round four. So the score at the end of battle round four is 60 to 50 for... Me? Me. Oh. Because <laughs> I got eight of my secondaries somehow. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. It's... There's like two turns of really good secondaries. You, and you know that turn when I was really proud when I stopped you scoring primaries? That's a big deal now. You've done the same to me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you have no primaries. objectives. Yeah. So this you're is... 10 points in the lead. And this is going to come down to the cards we draw. I need some good cards, and the Terminators, the first company, need to, need to drop in and, and do kill loads kill of stuff. Everything. So you, yeah, they can do that, right? They actually can. They I hope so. They actually can. I get a C. So you've drawn your cards. Yes. You still have no prisoners. Yes. You need 11 more wounds worth of kills, which should be possible. There's 11 that's here. That's 11 right there. Six okay. and five. So you're 60 to 50. Yeah. So if I kill them. 60 to 55, because that would be no prisoners. That's right. I've got to bring it down. That would be my Tyranid Prime. He's so the most wounds on the table right now. <laughs> That's another five points. 60 to 60. Yes. And what's your last one? Capture any outpost. I'll uh -oh. go over there and do the thing. I can't capture that. So at best, I can get you tie points. up the game. Yes. And so if I get any points on my turn, yes. I win. Yes. So essentially what you're saying is I'll you have to kill my whole army, and there's a draw. With the first company? Yeah, with your 10 Terminators. I've got to kill them. Th now, if, it, help, the if it helps you, in. they're crap bravery all, or um, morale all around. So you just kill two of each of these, and the other one will probably run. Well, But the, one guy survives. So I can deploy anywhere in my deployment zone with my teleport homers. More than nine inches from me. So I need to drop them in here more than nine inches from them. All the Storm Bolters have to kill them. And then so they'll charge the Hive Guard. And then charge them and Or kill, kill them. two of them, because the last one will probably run unless they roll a one. Why? What's that? Their, their morale's like five. Is it? Okay. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won! I won! I won! Ah, 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 ah. I'm sorry. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, I'm sorry for you too. <laughs> Well, now that we got that out of the way. Right, should we also mention to the people that I do gain a CP this turn, which I'd love to have spent on Fury of the First, but I had to spend a CP to, to get another card, and I got capture any amount. Yeah, you had investigate sites, which is doing an action in the, in the middle. middle of the table, which is obviously not do even that. possible. So nine inches from them. So here come the Terminators. So the idea is shoot, shoot down the Biovores, charge, charge and you can't even reroll. Right? 
Well, <laughs> sure. There's some of them. <laughs> you have some shots that can go that way. Okay. So I'm going to have to tail them a bit so I can do... Yeah. This is all coming down to whether your four last cannons will kill my two guys. And I have no command points. So no rerolls, no minus one damage, no nothing. I got this. I got the Emperor on my side. Sure. You just got. I some. actually hope that you kill my entire army. Because I would, think that would be an epic conclusion to it, have it, a draw. How epic would it... Well, I feel like it's a kind of victory for me. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. Are you ready? Right, we'll speed this up. Because if I don't kill these with the guns... You then... could, unless you get me down enough, then you can boot me. Yeah, that's true. So I've got to do one... That's right, I've there got we go. One twin lads this way, one twin lad that way, okay? So it's minus one to hit him. Is he? And not well, I'm already one. minus one to hit because I'm heavy in oh, combat. Okay, well then it's just fours right. all around. So my tech marine will come over and make them... Oh, wait. Eventually. Once I want to kill this together. fella first. Let's kill this, this fella. He's okay? only got three wounds left. No more minus one damage. Fours to hit him. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Don't biff it. Oh, okay, one. You got one. Threes to wound. Oh, you get to reroll one hit. Oh, but do you do it here? Or do you do it with the lictor? Who's well, at full six wounds? Yeah, exactly. I need mm. to get you kind of want to see that one already, don't you? Threes. Oh! And that's it. That's it. I can't no, no, win. you can still kick him what? to death. How? You've got four attacks. He's got three wounds. Okay. Kill the lictor. Last cannon on the lictor. So, one hit. No, okay, he's I can't not. see. I can reroll that because Master Art of Just one hit. Does it wound? It wounds. Four up involved. Does that? Sorry. He does have it involved. Okay. It's a five up. Nice. Okay. Six wounds. Six wounds. One in six chance. That's how this rolls. Oh. oh. And he doesn't die. I can't. There's too many. This is it. This is it. I can't kill them with shooting. And the t This is it. This is the end. This is the end. That was glorious. This is the way the world ends. <laughs> you want to call it there? Because there's really nothing else I to do. I think at this point there'll be a flash of a teleport homer. And yeah, the, the, ter the Terminators leave. The Terminators will teleport back to the battle barge. A Storm Raven gunship will come in and frag this place, and then we'll take off and nuke it from orbit because it's the only way to be sure. But you got to collect your gene seed. The apothecary will come in first. Well, do we? <laughs> They're first foreign, right? My tech marine can pick it up. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a draw. So no, it's a victory to you. Oh no, it's a victory to it's me. It's a victory to you. Oh, I win. win. I win. Yeah. Uh, yay. You wrote a brilliant Tyranid list, which is absolutely <laughs> I didn't creep. Have it. Okay, let's go to the post game show. And don't forget, after watching this game, paired in the Mini Wargaming Vault, Archon Scari's Drukari face off against Sam and his Tau. The link is down below for this Vault video. Now, of course, if you're not signed up for the Vault, you can always get a seven day free trial, try it out, check all the other cool stuff in there. All the links are down below. We'll see you there. <laughs> I didn't even realize I won when you did all that. You're like, yeah, yeah, I guess. And I'm like, yeah, I guess it's a draw. <laughs> no, I'm working really hard for a draw, the hardest draw that I never got. Out of curiosity, my next three cards. Okay. Assassinate, yes. uh, which actually I would get because your warlord and characters were already all dead. Yeah. Defend stronghold, which maybe I would yeah. get. And hold the line, hold the which... Line. Uh, yeah, we get that one, I think. Yeah. At the end of the battle, yeah. And then, yeah, okay, so obviously, whatever. Here's the question. <laughs> so Tempest, Tempest of War, it's a good leveling thing. It is a great leveling yeah. thing. I love Tempest. Do you like Tempest? I love it. It's my favorite way to play the game right now. It's a favorite way to play for a game. My wish, and I'm just going to keep throwing this out in the universe, is that Games Workshop every six months puts out another Tempest of War deck. I completely agree. I've said it before. There should be, you know, like the Nachmund, the, yeah, like the match seasons. play seasons. Why aren't we getting a new Open War and Tempest of War? I mean, Tempest of War deck is new, but why don't we get a new deck every six months? Why isn't there a Tempest of War in the Pariah Nexus or a Tempest of War Cadia? Exactly. You know what I mean? You, can you have to kind of adjust how you build your armies. Yeah. Because this one, I love this one because it has a good mix of grabbing objectives actions yeah. and also just placement of where your models have to be yeah. and killing and killing it doesn't feel like it, it's it's not as long as you make sure you bring some sort of objective secured or infantry you're good to go yeah and, and you're not building a list to do this you've got to build a list that could do lots of things right right so yeah. you don't know what will pop up when yeah like the death leaper is great at deploying teleport homer but there's only one of those in the deck so it's not like you're building your whole list for that one model to get you like 15 of your secondary points. Well, he's also great at killing an entire unit of tactical marines, whereas Gene Seedlers aren't. Exactly. I know, right? Aren't Gene Seedlers so disappointing? Yeah, very disappointing. Yeah, very I, disappointing. I get that they were maybe, 
I don't know if they were too good in the old Tierna book, because the old Tierna book wasn't that great. No. It was all Crusher Stampede, Demacaron, Swarm Lord. They weren't that great, but they were one of the few good units. They were question mark, right? If you comboed them, Kraken, Swarm Lord, Gene Sealer Bomb, maybe. Well, the old Tyranid book, there were, there were so many units in there that you definitely wouldn't take. Well, what's the point of the squiggly arms? What's the point of... There were so many things that you didn't bother with. Yes. Now they're all viable. Hey, the Biovores did work today. Did they? Yeah, they killed... Did uh, they? They did. They killed Tacticals over there, and then the Lictor was able to finish them off. But was it the Lictor? The was Lictor did the Lictor? exactly three... Killed three of them exactly. Okay. And they killed the other two. So a unit of three of them, is it worth it? 135 points? Mm. Heck no. No. But what might be cool with them yes. is to uh, just if pay for one of them. If you had to play them, how would you play them? Well, if I had to, I'd bring... If, first off, if I had to bring three and I had the heavy support slots, I'd put them in three squads of one. Okay. And then I would just do their action to seed spore mines. Okay. And maybe occasionally be like, I just need one mortal wound on this thing to finish it off, then I'd fire at that. Yeah. So you're firing D3 spore mines now when you can block off passages and things like that, Exactly. Right? And they don't have to be able points. to see. For, yeah, for, I think yeah. 45 points, that's I mean, interesting. 45 points for that. I mean, this is 60 points at attack bike with a multi melter, so it's cheaper than that. But that, and that, that, that bike, I think that bike has more utility because it's it really fast, it hits hard. Yeah. And it's not, it's, this is just as survivable as a attack bike because it has a better, it has around the same toughness, around the same wounds, and roughly the same save. I love Materinus. I think, and I've got some of the, I think there is some utility having one or two of them in cover, in a ruin, just firing out the mines yeah that's a good they can't mines can't score they, they can't, can't do, do anything yeah they don't do anything and they also don't give your opponent victory points either no. so if you have like overwhelming firepower you shooting mines doesn't get you that but what they do do is you can do do i said do do you said do do <laughs> is you could drop them down so units can't go past there without hitting the mines exactly right? yeah exactly yeah for 45 points that's a thing what about hive guard well i was i rolled poorly with them today because um, we we saw them like I would miss half the time even though they're hitting on threes. Mm. I didn't get as many four ups as I could. Yeah, I, I, they're obviously very nerfed. They're not nearly as good as they like. They were stupidly good. They were the auto include in almost every tier of list before. <sighs> it wasn't. It was. It was the single minded and that. What was the thing where they fired twice? Uh, That's why they were good. Yes, you could fire them a second time, yeah. and then you could combo that with the plus one to hit from the hive from the one Leviathan Warlord trait. Yeah. Essentially, you just put you poured everything into them, and they did a lot of damage. So I think they over nerfed them. R those stratagems were gone now. If they still did what they did without those strats, yeah, not now, a big deal. They wouldn't be because they're still just they were still just uh, D three damage, and with yeah. all the minus one damage out there, yeah, that is like not reliable damage to bring. You know what? You should definitely do a Tyranid review. Like Tyranid Expert does a review, <laughs> not the review that you get a couple of days after getting the book, but you've played how many Tyranid lists now? How many times? Ten? A dozen? And sitting in the canteen with you having lunch, you're just going and going. Your mind is like, you're like the hive mind. <laughs> I don't know exactly how many. I've done maybe seven or eight at least. Yeah. Maybe this is my ninth. But I've, have to go back I've and played check. a lot of Tyranids, but listening to you, it's like expanded my mind. It's like, you know, like a Total Recall, open your mind. <laughs> Something like open that. Open your mind. And that could be a tyranny creature growing out of the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I used this chance because I saw you had Firstborn Marines. And I didn't want to bring like the strongest thing. So I'm like, okay, let's try out Biovores. Let's try out Hiveguard. And while I am disappointed in them, they weren't as bad as I thought they'd be. The Lictor and Death Leaper, they're awesome. They're so good. They are good. And of course, the yeah. Prime and the Warriors carried me while the Brood they Lord and the Gene Stealers essentially died pretty quickly. That relic on him to give him extra attacks, and then, that was good. I think that's good. It might be a better relic on the Brood Lord, because mm. um, the Brood Lord has more effective attacks. But you didn't bring a Brood Lord. I did. He just, remember he bombed up the middle of the table? It was so long ago. I can't remember. <laughs> he bombed up the middle and gummed up your Dreadnoughts. No. Nah. And then you shot him in the face. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the oh. last cannons killed him. Those were the days, eh? <laughs> when we were so much younger. Yeah, <laughs> at least a few hours. Before I grew so much gray. Before hair. lunch. It was before yeah. lunch, and so we basically mm. it's another day. So, so I, yeah, and High Fleet Gorgon, obviously not a winner, but it has some interesting things in it. But, yeah, I don't think I would ever bring it unless I'm really just trying to do something very specific. Yeah. But it was a good game otherwise. I'm loving Tyranids right now. They feel like Tyranids. They feel scary, the synaptic thing. They I like them. Yeah. This is one of the... This is the... Oh, is it the best Tyranid Codex I've had? Probably. Is it the best Tyranid Codex you've had? Well, it feels... it's tough because everything is stronger now. And so, they're of course, they're stronger than every previous Tyranid Codex. Oh, I've run them against Town, got shot off the table. I've run them against the, uh, Harlequins and lost. They're, if you play them against other top tier-ish, ninth ed codexes, they don't feel bust, bust. Yeah, I, it's definitely the one I like the most because I like how it's written. 
and I love the Crusade rules. Yeah. And so I would rate it as my favorite because mm. it's the first time where I feel like I can use almost all of my codex mm. and actually be able to play them. Like there's a couple things like Gene Sealers will have a very specific role. Even Biover, I'm still going to bring them. Hive Guard, maybe not ever, but that's that's about it. Everything else, it's like, yeah, I can bring that in the list and be good. Yeah. And I, I like that. I like that there's that internal balance, at least it feels like. Yeah. So, well, I hope that you guys enjoyed that game. Thank you so much. It was an honor, Matthew. I believe we're going to be having a game on your channel, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the plan. That's the, yeah, plan. that's the plan. We're going we're to film another one. With more ideas than plans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's more the ideas, Dave. It's more the guidelines yeah. than actual plans. <laughs> But uh, you can check that out. I'll make sure to put links in the uh, description below. If you don't haven't seen Winter's channel before somehow, you can click the link below, go check it out. And uh, sometime in there, you'll see a game between us as well there. But yeah. more importantly, if this is not in a vault, become a vault member now. Yeah, we don't okay. know. Ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> is it a vault? I don't know. I don't know. We don't know that before. And that's Josh's job. And thank you so much for inviting me and hosting me and teaching me. Uh, Thank you and thank you. I've been watching you since I was a time, since I was like three or four. Yeah, right. You know, because yeah. you've been around for a hundred years now. <laughs> Look, wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. I remember before you had grey hair and everything. Yeah, and I, yeah. I think I've always had grey hair. No, just less no, of it. Okay. I think when I got married, like seventeen years ago, I had grey hair. Seventeen years ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 There was people now playing the hobby who weren't around. 17 years ago. Yeah, who weren't alive. Weren't alive. Or were just little little kids. And they're looking at this now going, wow, Matthew is really old. I'm not <laughs> yeah. saying my age, I'm really old. <laughs> let's, just, let's just put it this way. Mm -hmm. I got to place objectives first in this game. You did. Yes, I always <laughs> place objectives last. Yeah, me too. And in this office, I'm the one that always places last. That's the last. rule, isn't it? That's the rule. It's actually that's the rule. rule. The yeah. young one does the thing. Yeah, yeah, which I think is hilarious. And normally I would be like, nah, just roll off. Uh, but no, it's, it's, it's like whatever. This Normally you'd be like, I always just roll off, but today you got to play some to first. Play. You <laughs> no, I mean like normally with those kind of rules. I haven't once done it with Tempest of War. I've always no. let the younger person okay. place first. I mean like board games will sometimes be the last person to be to Amsterdam. Yeah. Gets to go first and it's like, no, let's roll off. <laughs> We're playing a board game here. Let's, let's not get too silly. <laughs> that All was right. great. I had great fun. Thank you so much. Me too. That was immense. Stay tuned for more. Thanks so much for watching. Happy Wargaming.